<laughs> Let's have a podcast. It's pretty funny. <laughs> It's mad of you niggas coming up with podcasts out the blue, man. I yeah. support all them shits, too. Kill them. Kill that shit. Yeah. Kill that shit. <laughs> I support everyone. Did any of you guys <laughs> click that video that everyone in our mentions was that Savon had? I saw, I saw he quickly deleted it before I could watch it. Yo, Rory, you're blowing up the spot. Apparently, apparently he was doing some nasty Just shit. So you guys did see it. No. <laughs> so you guys did see it. No, Rory. <laughs> It's parks. 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 What was that end of the fam? What the fuck? <laughs> that was Parks' drop. That's Jill. All right, you little Parks Facebook That's group. Jill. Jill, when we called Jill Scott. And oh. she was she was entirely oh, too okay, excited okay, that okay, Parks okay. was here. I never know who which one of you guys have relationships. <laughs> like she was hype about Parks, and I was hating. So that's why the drop cuts off abruptly that way. Got you. Yeah, well, they're, 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 they're coworkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're co- I, that could be his work wife. You know what though? I you know when we listen, who Jill? Yeah, Jill could be. Don't Parks do that. Work don't wife. do that. Don't do that. That's not getting anybody in trouble. Jill might be involved. Jill might be involved. That's true. No, but the word you don't actually. In her words, she laughs. She laughs. She laughs. The queen. She laughs. Hold on, let's do it. Miss Parks. Uh, the- <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the Joe Button Podcast, episode 215, if I'm correct. Yes, I am your host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, fresh back from the secret title revolt meeting. Uh, <laughs> uh, That's crazy. Then he, hey, if that wasn't enough, then he flew out to Malibu. He flew, he flew, he flew from No, LA you flew. You flew. <laughs> you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> took, took you are trash for that. You drove 15 minutes no, to Malibu. No, you flew to Malibu to <laughs> meet, have another meeting about a Noriega show coming that Biggs posted about. I was hurt, but then I, <laughs> I called in, checked our contract to make sure shit was good. Everything's good. I had to do all a little, right, t- had to do a little temper check, too, because me and Nori have the Nori and Rory shit popping. I was like, all right, wait, so you, you also doing something with my other co host I, I felt Rory don't like way. that shit. Wow. You know Rory don't like that shit. And he'll snuff one of us. Yeah. <laughs> nah, Rory wouldn't snuff me. You seen he almost snuffed me a few weeks ago. Oh yeah. He talked <laughs> about that almost show. snuff you. Yeah. yeah. No. I, like, I ain't gonna lie, I like Rory in that moment though. <laughs> oh, I gained no, I, I, I gained a new no, level. I ain't no. a new level of respect for Rory in that moment. Wait, I wasn't going to snuff Joe. No, no, I knew he wasn't going to snuff Joe. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. I had no anger or any ill will towards you at all. He 100% was about to hit me. I was laughing with you. Well, I was scared. Yeah. I was laughing with you. Yeah, there was was no animosity towards you. Why does Maul like aggressive Rory? I like aggressive Rory. I ain't going to lie. Do you like aggressive Imani? Uh, well, do you like aggressive Vern? That, that. <laughs> well, See, no, that's, like, that's what I, I don't like about I'm gonna you. Tell you. I'm going to tell you why I like aggressive Rory, though, because you normally don't see that from Rory, but it's just good to know, like, he could hit that switch and be like, yo, we're shaking. Mo, Rory is white. Rory is Irish with anger issues <laughs> and a Red dad who drinks. But I never, I never, <laughs> I'd never seen that side of Rory. <laughs> who are you talking about? I never saw that. That was my first Me time. Me neither. I, don't, Yo, I, don't, yeah, I ain't so trying to I, peel back the layers yeah, like to that. find out what's going on I with Rory. It. <laughs> no, we need to stop the anger issue thing because I'm going to name drop real quick. Curtis Blow loves our podcast, listens to it all the time. Curtis calls me and says, Rory, because you know he's like a, a pastor and like really cares about people. Wait, I feel like okay. we should pause right now. What? <laughs> Curtis Blow likes our shit? Yeah. That's amazing. He listens. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I okay. thought it couldn't so, get better after Chuck D. <laughs> right. Curtis Blow. Uh, so Curtis calls me and is like, Rory. I wasn't aware that you had anger issues. I was like, I don't. It's just a joke on the podcast. That's not true. <laughs> How are you going to tell a, that then he has anger he's issues? He's a pastor. <laughs> All right, time out. Bro, you don't feel like time he has out. anger I, issues. I, I haven't even introduced anybody past you, but, let, but we can stay here for yeah. a minute. You don't think Rory has anger issues? I, that's the first time I saw Rory like I'm that. I'm not talking about that elevator. I'm just talking about, I'm just asking, just period. Just knowing I, Rory and what you know about Rory. No. I wouldn't say he has anger issues because I've never really seen him angry. So oh, the Mixie boys don't be out. Y'all got to get to know. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> well, if somebody has anger go, issues, you see boys it. go out. We don't really. We ain't trying to right. do none of that. We just trying to shoot. Well, that's real good at deflecting. But time out. Rory brings up a good point because when when Big uh, Instagram that picture of the new Nori and Maul show coming soon to all DSPs. <laughs> <laughs> when he said that, mm-hmm. I said, "Damn, wait a minute now. Rory and Maul might have to square up." 
because no. Rory and Nori had the Rory and Nori, and Nori show yeah. mm. coming. Coming soon. Yeah. Everyone has a show coming soon. Damn. Not me. My show is here. <laughs> yeah. You got another show coming soon. No, Stadium I don't. Culture's back in February. Same show. Really? Yeah. Same show. New show. Don't. All right. Maul is here. <laughs> Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson you know is me? here. Savon the Don, as as known in Atlanta, in the A. <laughs> in the A. In the A. Savon. Yeah, that nigga says, oh, shit, the Don. <laughs> He's excited about Savon. Everybody's here. The gang's all here. Uh, shout out to our Spotify listenership. Uh, before we go any further, let me address something. Some of you are having technical difficulties with this podcast. Uh... Uh, I have been on the phone about it. That is a technical, b- internal Spotify issue that is above my pay grade. So <laughs> when they tell me exactly what's going on is when I'll know exactly what's going on. But just know it's not specific to this podcast. Uh, so if you're having this issue, you're having it all across you know the board. The issue, I saw a lot man. of people uh, say that if they delete the we, app, We broke works. Spotify. Yeah, that's what we did. I mean, a lot of people said too much if they delete the app and reinstall it, it works. Yeah, but I mean, who Try wants it. to do all of that? Yeah, you know. But I no, mean, no, we broke Spotify. You sign yeah. up such a big podcast, you got to be ready for this stuff. That's yeah. true. I mean, Spotify could handle Scorpion and all that traffic, but not not nah, the Joe Button no. podcast. That's true. That nah. we shut nah. the whole shit down. Yeah, we broke Spotify. Yeah, we ain't going to talk about Joe Button podcast, Inc. <laughs> no, <Yeah>. we're not. <laughs> Inc. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Joe Button podcast, uh, Inc. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so shout out to the Spotify listenership. Uh, erase the shit and re-down- <laughs> re-download it. Do what you got to do. It's a shame what niggas got to go through, but I think this podcast is worth it. So you do all that. <laughs> shout out to our YouTube viewership. Uh, shout out to, listen, the list is getting longer and longer. My memory really is getting shorter and shorter. So shout out to all of y'all. Y'all that are <laughs> at work. Y'all that are unemployed. Y'all that are in a gang. Y'all that are out of gang. Y'all that sell pussy. Y'all that don't. Y'all that got hedge fund money. Y'all that don't. Y'all that are uh, <laughs> uh, getting paid. Y'all that are fucked up from the government to shut down. So shout out to everybody. Shout out if you got a mixtape coming. If you're a dancer. If you fucking do graph. Shout out to graph. <laughs> <laughs> shout, shout, out, listen, shout, out, shout out to everybody, man. The firefighters. Uh, they've been giving me smoke. First uh, response. Uh, wow. Is that, that a, a bar? Point. That was. Sci high better watch <laughs> out. <laughs> Look, look. Let's just take a second I to gander. I haven't said one word. But you don't think I'm as nice as I was. But I'm, let's not talk about me no more. I don't want to talk about me no, no I'm more chilling, ever. Man. I'm, I'm, chilling. I'm not trying I'm to rap chilling. no more. I'm killing this media shit. Okay. Um, uh, where was we at? Where was we at? Where was we at? Uh, the firefighters giving me smoke. Uh, the cops, shout out to y'all, the good ones. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to the women. Salute. Y'all are appreciated. None of this is possible without y'all. Uh, shout out to the college kids. That's it, man. One eight hundred Stanley Steamer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Stanley Steamer. Are they still in business? Yeah, you better believe it, buddy. <laughs> they come through with that big Ghostbuster vacuum. Get your whole crib right. <laughs> <laughs> Clean Ch- everything. Yeah. 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 Your there won't be nothing going on in there. Uh, so yeah, shout out to everybody. Uh, I missed my guys, man. I missed my guys. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's only been what four days. This was one of those weeks where. You know, I said that earlier. I was in the bathroom and I just looked like I was in too good of a mood. So that's when your girl want to see what's going on with you when you look too happy and you're about to walk out the door. Mm-hmm. So that's how I was looking. She's like, yo, what's up with you? And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm not, can we going to have a good podcast. And she was like, why? And it kind of <laughs> stuck me. It was like, uh, I don't, it's not no reason. <laughs> yeah, some nothing Because was- nothing kind of really happened. And when nothing really happens, I look forward to coming and talking to y'all. So we could just talk our shit. So we could make something I, happen. I guess, I guess that's what it is. Yeah, we'll make so, it something similar like that happened to me. Uh, I've had a bad habit. Sometimes I bite my nails. So I'm trying to change that. As you, a 29 When you get older, nasty. you evolve. And that is you, disgusting. And you change your habits. You make too much money to bite your nails. You said you go bald? Or you... No, I said you have to evolve. Oh, okay. So I, stopped, so I stopped doing it. Got a manicure. Got all that shit. Sam going to come in instead of trying to congratulate me for evolving as a human being. To, so who the fuck you trying to impress with your nails? Who you talking to now that told you not to bite your nails? <laughs> I'm like, all right, That's all right, how man. it goes. What you, what you thought was going to happen? She's going to say, yeah, your hands look nice? Men only change for the <laughs> new <you>. girl they like. <laughs> like. Women do the same. We don't change for our girl. Don't do that because I get mad. Sin trying to change lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up for a minute. Where's these headphones? Where's this phone? Is this the piece? Where's the little piece thingamajiggy? Oh, thingamajiggy. Uh, let's see. Rory, talk, man. Talk. You, you were in the middle of talking. I'm <laughs> trying to find the thing. So, I have a clip here. 
I have a clip here of Savon the Don. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to start this way, uh, but I just got wind of it. <laughs> so I'm going to play it, and then I'm going to ask you guys what you guys think about this. Now, the question I had for Parks is, should Savon's Don be suspended for about a few, maybe three months, 90 days? That's behind, behind the clip of this video? Behind the clip that I've seen. Time. I've seen this clip. I'm about to play it. I'm not sure if people in the A should be saluting the Don. I don't know. I got to ask my friends. <laughs> well, before you started, was it in fact deleted? Because I went to go click it and it no, said, I, ha I have it right it here in my phone. no longer available. Oh, that content is available. <laughs> Con the I'm, content is I'm here available. to make it available to all of you on this DSP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is from Savon's podcast. The Need to Know podcast. The Need to Know podcast. So, so he thinks that we needed to know this We've, information. So yeah, he really feels like everyone needs to know this. Okay. <laughs> gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Okay. Uh, let's we have so, a conversation. Get the laugh, get the laugh. Hold on, hold on. Start that from the top. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's what we're gonna do. That's a weird start. You know Savon's voice. Real quick, so what are you gonna get from this, Kayla? This double penetration, is this what you've been thinking They're about? They're talking about double maybe, penetration. Maybe, just like maybe thinking about DP. having two women. Like, what, no, wait, I can't do that, my man. I can't do that. Sorry. I'm with yeah. him. I can't do it. Can you? So what about you, brother? Tell me. He's asking Savon. Let's listen. Can, your chick come to you. Your Savon. My deepest fantasy. You know, you and another nigga. <laughs> Who's the nigga? Oh, so... Let's pause it right there. Savon. <laughs> Wait, stop. You stop, 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 stop. Let me let it play. Let me let it play. Yeah, we're cool. Let me let it play. Oh, so we can go there. His okay. Let me, let me let it play. I can't do it. Can you? So what about you, brother? Tell me. Can I do what? Can, your chick come to you. You'll say Vaughn. My deepest fantasy. You know, you and another nigga. Who's the nigga? Oh, so we can go there. His okay, dick, okay, his, okay. His dick can't be bigger than mine. I'm, I'm about to say his dick can't oh. be bigger than mine. Oh, his dick can't be bigger than mine. I'm so Straight glad out. we're recording. I'm so glad we're recording. Now, now we can have a conversation. Now, now we can have a now, conversation. Now, now let's Listen, talk. Alex. Let's last talk. week it was us. This week it's Savon. Oh, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Pay attention. Now, pay attention. Yeah, I'll be having a conversation. This is the Need to Know podcast. Not the Joe Button. This is the Need to Know podcast. Pull up with a 15 inch dick. Okay, that's it. All right, that's too much for my ears. Too, too much, too much. For no, well, we are not. Say, say Don't add that drop to the end of that. Well, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> my, my you didn't think that was a good edit point? You know, you don't think yeah, I should have edited yeah. that out? In the whole context, like. And don't you edit oh, these context. yourself? Context behind. Okay. There's context. But well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come, come on. Come Yo, closer. you're proving my theory because I don't think the new generation knows what uh, context means. That's true. Well, you didn't. What context are we missing behind you saying how big is homeboy's dick? <laughs> that's yeah, not. No, but that, that ain't that. It don't matter which. How did I miss get it? Like, you said, you what said did I misread? In that? His dick can't be bigger than mine. To your, that came out to your, to your mouth. girl. So you come in the room and you pull your girl. out. And then, about another nigga having right. sex with your girl. Listen, let their podcast start that way. We can't. We can't. I don't That's wanna... nasty. Save on. Go in the cupboard go, and, and yo, grab open the water and go stand outside with the water on the corner. Savon is crazy for that. Yuck. Yo, Savon's 444 cuck. tour of getting his girl back is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> his rebrand? His, his new relationship is crazy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Go Erickson. to the cupboard, nigga. Erickson, Erickson, tight. God, Gosh. yeah, everything. Pan, pan yeah. Save on. yeah, 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 <laughs> double save on. Pan, pan the double penetration the man, man right there. Yeah, nasty man, you, you nasty, nasty Don, you nasty, nasty Don, you nasty Don, you nasty. Hey, <laughs> Don go on and on and on, and on and on Don, you Donald, yeah. Donald, damn, <laughs> you say Von Donald, <laughs> nasty Donald. All right, let's start our podcast, man. That is, he is a nasty guy. <laughs> that's that's what be going on at, at Need to Know. I didn't think we needed to, needed to know that, though. I didn't need to know that. Yeah, I didn't need to know that. I'm going to be honest. Look what, they, look what he think we need to know. Yeah. We don't need to know about your cuckold activities. Yeah, like, did you just say cuckold? Cuckold. Oh, my God. <laughs> Parks is nasty. Because how you <sighs> find out how, do, how big dude is? That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah, like, you, you, like, well, you, you tell him to wait, back out so you can compare? One, one, we never, one we no, never what? and two never with my girlfriend. Wait, what did he say? What did he say? <laughs> 
No, no Savon. I've never ran a train with one of my men. And then why you had to make I'm that an edit point? We're not a, saying we ran a train on anything. And, and, yeah, what, and is he, on. what is he talking and about? First of all, at 16 double minutes, make an edit point. <laughs> double penetration in a train aren't Yo, the same thing. Either. Why don't you have That's some true. class? <laughs> <laughs> do you have both parents in your yeah, life? You, <laughs> like, do they listen to podcasts? You know, this is 2019. What the hell is he talking about? Did you ever run a train No, no. You nasty, filth fuck. What the fuck you talking about? Savon wanted to back out like. Yeah, the, his yeah, shit? I'm not calling him the Don for the yeah, rest of the nah. year now. I'm sorry. He lost it. He yeah. back to Savon Savon. Savon Savon. I'm going to just say it twice. Savon Savon. All right. Let's see. Where, 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 where do we go? Where, where would we like to begin? Uh, let's recap the weekends. What did everybody do? Oh, come on. Give it to me, man. You was at the Secret Title Revolt meeting. That's what I need to hear about. Oh, yeah, I was at the most exciting weekend. All of these no. years of Hove and Puff. Now they finally are collaborating. And if they do, it will be the biggest black-owned venture in the marketplace. It's just... And it's, only two extra people were there, Maul and Nori. <laughs> no. It, and the Maul and Nori show is following the big <laughs> title revolt hybrid mashup the that hybrid, is coming. Hybrid mashup. There's Define no hybrid, hybrid mashup. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's more. It's more. I'm it's the hybrid yes. mashup. And then I hybrid. got mad for kind of getting you hot a little bit because now, damn, more hot in the streets and now he the hybrid mashup. You got me hot? I helped too. Okay, that's fair. I said that's fair. Come on. I said that's thank, fair. Thank I said that's fair. Thank you, that's man. All. I thank said that's fair. Jesus, man. <laughs> that's fair. Yo, I see, and that's why I know more we'll starting his little show soon, man. No. Well, I mean, you saw, I'm a, you saw I'm the BTS to today. I would listen to it before the Rory and Nori show. No. Nah. <laughs> it's just amazing. It's good. amazing what a picture would do, though. Like, it's just... There was no secret mashup. Wait, but wait, but wait. Let's not just, let's not just gloss over a few things. We have a we have we have a pretty good podcast, one in which I attempt to produce and in in trying to produce it, I go through some trouble of trying to get you to talk a few times, in my opinion. I could be wrong about that. Now, I pulled out my phone one of those nights and I saw you standing up on the table giving a speech. I wasn't standing <laughs> like I never was standing Nobody on the saw table. that? No, I, so, didn't I see saw that. the speech. Did you see me did standing you see the on the table, table Parks? Uh, it's did, hard to tell. Did thing. you see his feet? It's hard to tell. I didn't see his feet. So, so it must have been on the table. We didn't see his feet. <laughs> I stood on the table and gave a speech. Yes. I, me, yeah. You, right between <laughs> Hove and Puff. Yeah. I'm like, man, is this the way we want to be represented? No. That's the way you stand on the yeah, table. Yeah, <laughs> actually. That would make sense, though. Yeah. If, if it, yeah, I could see that, but no. No, it was just a birthday dinner for, for my brother. That was all. That's all it was. We just had a good, good time. Birthday dinner, talk shit, drink. It's just funny to, to get certain people in a room and just watch them interact, like big, powerful people. Mm -hmm. We all the same. I just say that for the, for the listeners. Like, we all the same, man. We talk about the same shit, laugh about the same shit, eat the same shit, drink the same shit. Like, it was just it was just a great night. You drink the same shit as Puff? No, no, no. Puff was, was he was on say. that Deleon heavy. I don't think Jay was drinking the Boone's Farm at no. Big's birthday. But. No, everybody was on Deleon. I had I had wine. That was it. You didn't have do say like low and cast throwing it. <laughs> no, good shout, song. Shout though. out to Wale and L. I like that song a lot. Yeah, no, <laughs> we didn't have do say. It was a Deleon and Deleon night. Take that, Hove. <laughs> no, <it's> <laughs> that was a shot. That was a shot at Hove when he walked in. <laughs> it was. It was. A, we had a good I'm time though. Shit. We had. A, we had a good time. Man. It looked like Happy it. It looked like bigs, it. man. Real good surprise party. Yeah, it was. It was a surprise dinner. It was a surprise dinner. Oh, that must have been pretty cool. Oh, he didn't know he was going to eat. No, no, he didn't know that all of us would be there. He, oh, he didn't know y'all was going to eat. Yeah, he knew he knew he was going to eat. But he Why are there so many plates? Yeah. It was it was a surprise, but he he had a good time, man. It was a good night. Definitely a good night. Good weekend. Good weekend. I saw you uh racing up the 405 in a foreign at one point. Oh shit. Yeah, it was Wait, what? Is you had a, Yo, you had a LA Mall. Yo, LA Mall no. is different. Which what had, you was doing? It had a screen with the size of Pride Park's TV in the center console. That's wow. a, that was a Tesla. Yeah, it was a Tesla. That's a Tesla, Rory. A Tesla. See, I don't know how money. Yeah, it's, I don't know if Tesla's foreign. Is yeah, it? I was gonna say they, they add they added TVs to the yeah, pack. Yes, it's from Pluto. Okay, so it's foreign. <laughs> that's as foreign as foreign. That's as foreign as foreign. That's as foreign as it gets. Yeah, <laughs> Tesla being from Pluto. Yeah, I'm rolling. But nah, I'm, you know. L.A., man. It's, I, I didn't want to come back. I ain't gonna lie, man. I see how people moved to L.A. I ain't gonna lie. You see, that's your Tesla. I mean, I might not be here on Earth. Uh, when this happened, but 
when when Tesla look at the path train up and running like he trying to oh, underground oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah it's over oh man that's the Tesla path <laughs> should be fire. Should people, get... people in LA really like are looking forward to that though they need it they cannot wait for that to like open well, it's gonna I'm, drive I'm so sure. there you too. Get to, you get to see your New York boo for twenty five dollars. No, but my thing is, <laughs> I, I, my thing is, it's like I feel like so many people are gonna be trying to use that. That that's it's, that's gonna have traffic for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, that's the only yeah. thing about it. It's like I feel like so many people are gonna gonna be rushing to use that tunnel. That that's gonna be a, that's gonna be traffic too. Like I, so I don't I don't know if that fixes. Yeah, anything. but you know they're gonna have all types of underground W bars in there. It's gonna be like a nah, concierge. Man, don't don't stop there. nowhere. Get me right to the uh, downtown. It's gonna be lit down there. You gonna see? That's gonna be the new spot. It's gonna be like old Cheetah was. <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla tunnels is the new Cheetah. <laughs> the Tesla tunnels is the Listen, new Cheetah. No, you you weren't go- when you went in Cheetah. You was bumping into a few of your people. That's oh yeah, yeah a few yeah, of your yeah, people. No, no, no. One thousand yeah. percent. Everybody in the city was one thousand percent at old Cheetah. Yeah. Man, I wish I was cooler in those days. Yeah, <laughs> Cheetah, Cheetah, Cheetah was legendary for sure. <laughs> Um, speaking of that, I wanted to ask y'all. The, so, so Motorola's coming back with the the, the Star Tech, the oh, razor. Oh man, I'm in. I saw that. There's a smart razor. I'm in. Coming. I knew you was gonna. I mean, that's exactly why I wanted to my bring first that cell bit phone, of Star Tech. For real? So you're gonna, yeah. You, but wait, hold up. So the price of it is fifteen hundred dollars. It's an iPhone. It's not really an iPhone. It doesn't have it's all the same that, price as all of that screen. Oh no, I'm just saying. So that doesn't scare you off. I, I would have to see it at the aesthetic it's gonna be a, I mean, I think to get Is it going to be a real flip, phone, If it's yeah, a flip it. smartphone? It's a flip, it's a flip smart. Oh, oh my God. Gonna, I might be sold. I might I'm be sold. getting money. Because I get that. You get this back. <laughs> you get the slam on, banging on somebody now on the hang up. Yeah. That is a lost That's art. A That's priceless. Yeah. Click at the yeah, button, so You guys want to talk about my anger I, issues. Yeah, this, this I, Now I can flip a phone. This is awesome. Yeah, this ain't as sexy on the hang up. Nah, it's not. At all. Nah, when well, you can slam that shit and everybody around you, here like, oh, he, he mad. Yeah, now people <laughs> throw right, so I, phones I, I don't, I don't feel as ghetto since you want the phone too. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I want that shit. I wanted it, but anytime, Did you see it? Like, is there a, proto- is there a prototype? That's what I'm I've looking for now. I've only seen it on the news or on TV. It looks it looked like the old shit. Nah, It looked like the old man. shit. If it's a smart old Star <laughs> Tech, yeah. I'm so... I'll yeah. definitely be. I'll, de- I'll be cop. You okay. got mad at me when I said I wanted the BlackBerry. Oh no, this is fire! It's got screens on both sides. Yeah, that looks. That's yeah. hard. It looks kind of nuts. Oh no, I might be. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I might be so. Yeah, it might be go time for the Motorola. Uh, Razor this is V3R. not all right. This is not an ad. All right, all right, V three R. All right, let's use, relax. All right, use code. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah look, come on, let's bring it back to our shit. <laughs> <laughs> Black owned businesses. Four forty four. Yo, funny shit. Now that you say that, Puff cursed me out because we were talking about the Brona and uh, Pacquiao fight. So we was trying to figure out how, how we could watch it at the restaurant because they didn't have any uh, TVs in the oh, back. Oh, that's funny. So with me and Rory had that same experience. Had the same ahead. problem. Right? So, so, so I was like, man, Pacquiao going to knock him out anyway. I ain't going to lie, man. I got scared for a second. Wait, Puff turned and looked at me, man. <laughs> Puff said, nigga, we black, ain't we? Mm. I said, yes, Puff, I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> we ruined everything black, all black. But mm. we started watching it and... The seventh round, Puff turned and looked at me and said, but "That's when it's okay to root against your people. Like once, once yeah. it's happening, it's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Once it's, it's happening, up. it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, all right, yeah, he, all right, all right, all right black. Yeah, he turned and looked at me and said, "Yo, it's it's it's, it's cool." He was like, "Bro, ain't black no more. It's cool." Yeah, that's all. <laughs> See? I said, "Yo, I told you." He said, "Yeah, he ain't yeah, black." All no you gotta more. do is make the trade. Yeah. Pack, pack, yeah, for Brona. That's it. We in. Yeah, that's it. No one objects. But how does Brona keep? How does he keep getting these fights? Because he's entertaining. That shit was terrible. That, that was, was one right. of the worst. That Pacquiao got he got paid to spar. I didn't see the yeah. fight. I didn't. I, didn't I think Pacquiao could have really hurt Brona if he wanted to, but I, I think I he agree. was kind of like he He's knew not he was. Me, so. Yeah, it, well, he wasn't even in the same class. It was like that was a spar for for Pacquiao. He got ten million dollars to spar. That's what it was. That's exactly what happened. But he, and and it was a sparring partner that was making sure that you were going to win. But that, no, it the, wasn't like the sparring a, partners a fair usually spar. are just like they're good, but it's like they can't beat you. Yeah, you know what I mean. But he it's didn't like even throw a punch. I don't think he threw like eight uh, punches. In the I'll, first I'll, round. I'll be surprised if Adrian Broner gets another fight of that magnitude. No, no, no he, I, I, I will not. I, I, he will I, never fight another I, fight I'll be like honest that. With you, that 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 was the that was the end. But kind of how we saw we we saw Zab on the, on the way out. Like mm. this is this is it. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, I think I think I think I, I'm with you on that. And then he went he went full soldier boy after the fight. Yeah. Now wait, time out, time out, because you shared your story, so I didn't share mine. Uh, I thought that I, you know I have files. Mm-hmm. This is not an ad, but I have files. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, Product placement podcast. Rory and uh, Rory and his lady came over. We were doing our our couples thing. 
was gonna watch the fight, have some uh, chips and snacks. <laughs> I thought I had the feature where you just press OK on the remote and then the fight comes on. Mm. I don't know no. what Sin did with the cable company when she called, man. That, that's not there anymore. They, that, that, that package yeah, is not available. I pressed OK. They was like, nah. That's <laughs> <laughs> not exactly what happened. Yeah, like, they, they was like, no. I don't call. to tell you. They was like, call. Yeah, so call. I was like, all right, so we call. I'm about yeah. to call. We mad now, but it yeah, yeah. was closed. Yeah. So nah. they told us to call even though it was closed. <laughs> so we couldn't, couldn't call. <laughs> Holiday weekend. Ver- Verizon was like, yo, I don't even think they. So wait, y'all couldn't no see it? No, uh, y'all didn't get a stream. I didn't see no. laptop. I watched it the next day. I didn't really want that viewing computer. experience. That wasn't. That wasn't. My That's problem. how we watched it. It was. Pretty, it was good. Yeah, I watched the, the, the links oh, wait, that we so had. So when I eventually got caught up, and this is not a ad uh, product placement podcast, so I'm going to say Lash and Lova. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but when I finally got caught up. Mm. And saw that he had on some Lash and Lova shorts. You saw mm. the Lovas. He had on the Lovas. <laughs> he weighed in with the Lovas. That's like a skirt, too. It wasn't he really weighed a short. in with the but that, but that gave, that's, that's gross. But that let me know what, what time it is with him. That yeah, let yeah, me know yeah. what type of time he's on. Yeah. yeah. Like, had, had I known that he just prior grabbed, to. grabbing little bags in Quick. And, and, he, and he keeps saying that. He keeps saying, yo, I mean, how could I lose? I made some millions. I, I understand your. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you still lost, you know, but you made millions. No, you yeah. 100% <laughs> lost. Yeah. You, yeah. You, didn't you, take lost. A, you didn't take a life loss. Yeah. You just yeah. lost the fight. Right. Yeah, I don't need G Herbo hitting the gram to say, how could you lose when you made four M's as a black king? G Herbo. Yeah. You my guy. He lost. He lost, bro. <laughs> he, he, lost. He, lo- he lost the fight. Quick check, check, check grab. Yeah, yeah. I'm, Here's I'm the cool. thing. I'm if cool. he would have performed better, he might have been able to put himself in a position to get another big fight. Yeah, because again, boxing is a show at the yeah. end of the day and you're entertaining. He didn't perform. You he didn't perform well at all. Like, at all. It was like, all right, fam, you're not even throwing your hands. I don't... And you talked all of this, you're going to beat the shit out of this man, all this, and then don't throw your hands? I would love to know what Lash and Lova paid him. I mean, that's just me being nosy, but, you know, I'm into that type of stuff. I would love to know what they thought that that moment of visibility was worth and what it did for their for their company, for him to plaster that across his shorts. Do you think shorts. the skirt was actually Fashion Nova? That, that was actually made? Can I use his code to buy that on the site now? <laughs> yeah, use bro, and B-R-O. I can, okay. I can go to World Boxing Gym and spar with that. Hey, Rory, hold up. Hey, Parks, don't say Fashion Nova again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Lash and Lova. Lash and Lova. Yeah, we're Lash and Lova. Yeah, we're, we're, the, the days of us giving out the, the free ad space, those days are finished. Say Passion Hell Soda. Yeah, say, say passion anything soda. that rhymes. <laughs> no soda. more free ad space on this podcast. But, passion uh, Soda. Uh, so I missed the fight. Caught up later. Saw I didn't, saw I didn't miss much. Enjoyed the the press conference where he sounded delusional. Like I'm I'm done. I you know, and it's because of that. See, I fuck with Puff, and I want to root for all my black people. Yeah, but when black people is just like you got to be making a mockery sometimes. of themselves. Yeah, you got to be realistic. Like I'm cool. I don't yeah. want. I I didn't need to see. I'm I'm not watching. I'm not. I don't want to see a car wreck. And you know, I, I'm the guy on the road that gets mad that everybody is stopping to look at the car wreck when I have somewhere to be. It didn't take us. It didn't need to take us 45 minutes to get by the two car pal up. Right. And I'm gonna just be honest. I get uncomfortable whenever Brona is talking with media personnel and just about the way he talks. Yeah, have some respect. Like you calling them niggas. Just like some respect, I don't fuck man. with you, nigga. And it's like, yo, this is an older white man. You talk like what's, Jim what's, Gray was like, well, yeah, huh? like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I, I that just I'm at that age where when when men talk like that, when black men talk like that around white men, I get like uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like I don't want to. I don't want to listen to that. I don't want to see it. Me neither. It's like why are you talking like this to this older white man? Like you talking to him like you you in the living room with one of your homeboys playing 2K. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, yo, have some, have some class. And and actually, now that you say that, this year, you know, I, I said this a few weeks ago. But this year, I'm going to try to use the, that word, the word "nigga" a lot less. Period. Yeah. In my vocabulary, I definitely anyway. use don't use it around, like you know, Parks and obviously Rory are white men, but I don't use it around, you know, white people like that. I, I, I'm, I'm, that's like embedded in me. I know when to use that word. Which is funny. I call white people nigga. Oh no, I don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, I do. Yeah, no, I definitely don't do that. It's just uncomfortable. Like seeing Brown in the, in the press, you know, press conference talking like that. I can't watch that. Like I get embarrassed. I feel a, I feel a sense of embarrassment. Like it's just like I got to turn that shit. I, mean, well, I just I don't think he takes the sport very seriously. Like, no, I think I, well, obviously really, at one point could have been a pretty significant person in boxing, especially with Mayweather's exit and that style of fighting. And he, I just feel like he didn't work. Yeah. Like, he doesn't really train for his fights the way he promotes them, hmm. which is cool if you want to make some money, but there's no longevity in that. I don't think you're ever going to get an opportunity now off what you just did in that ring. And the sad part is he's actually, he has he has skill. Oh, when he first came out, he yeah, was, he has he was skill. nice. He has a lot of skill. 
to get to that next level, you have to train. He just, yeah. he just doesn't do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, this might be it. I'm, I'm with Joe. This might be yeah, it. Yeah, I'm finished. I'm finished. This is like Nas, uh, Prince Nassim. <laughs> this yeah. is like how, you know what I mean? How Nassim went out. Like, this is like, we probably won't see Brona again until he's like overweight, sitting ringside. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, did y'all pay How much attention Did y'all pay To the fake Tiana Taylor Iman Shumpert story That was floating around I paid it Maybe four minutes I paid attention to it <laughs> Cause then I was like Cause I seen the heart eyes That Iman put under The late the uh, young lady's pick So I kinda like Was like oh This might be real And then once Tiana Came out and said What she said I still didn't understand You know what, what though reason, let's, but- let's pause right there For a minute man Cause you know Iman Iman's out there Fighting a good fight For men Shackled down In relationships Shackled two, down two, two, <laughs> You make it sound Like two, such a two, bad thing c- Because sometimes It can be a bad thing And Like Too many times Men that are in relationships Have felt shackled down And didn't even know what the, what emoji to use to not get in trouble in their relationship, so they just avoided the emoji altogether. But when Amon started talking, he was like, yo, that's my homegirl who's having a baby. Why can't I leave a heart emoji under her picture? Especially as somebody who just saw my queen have a baby. I, I feel him. When I was watching Sin Pregnant, you get all in that vibe, and you, you like all that shit that you see on Instagram from women having babies, and you get in that vibe. Wait, why she, he she can't was leave? pregnant? Yeah, she was pregnant. So what's the fucking issue with that? Because that's why they, that, that's where the fake story no, came from. No, she had the baby. She was holding a baby in a picture. He left a, a hard eyes on right. it. Which, even, means, which even means she was more, pregnant. Even more. No, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's even more yeah, but no, it's just, allowed. It's, I think it was the timing. <laughs> I think it was a time and like people found that I don't know how old that post was and that comment was but it was just you know people you put the collage together and we see it like that we like damn did he did he just put this out I'm with him when you got a girl that's famous or popular or has some notoriety a lot of a lot of people that follow you is coming cuz they like her so now they yeah. the, they the police no get off my dick Get off my page. It's just amazing <laughs> how social media is such a, it's a real thing. A it's key a real figure thing. in life and in relationships. Like I did, like when Tiana said she deleted her account because uh, Def she, Jam man, fucked her yeah. video up. I didn't even understand that reason. Yeah. Like I was just like, well, just don't open the app on your phone. Right. You don't have to delete it. I wouldn't. That's your stock. That's like your your stock on the stock market is your your social media. Right. Why would you delete that? Yeah, because. Delete the app. I wouldn't even delete the app. It, just don't open the app on your phone. If you don't want to deal with social media, just don't open it. Yeah. Like, it's just that simple for me. Like, I can go days without going on Twitter or Instagram. What well, do you think as an artist? I'm not going to delete as a, my as account. A figure it's kind of necessary to be involved in social media? It is, which is why I don't understand why she would delete it. Because yeah, but you could take breaks, especially an uh, artist that's established like she is. But I don't understand. I don't. We off Tiana. I don't understand when anybody says, I'm deleting my account because of. It's like. Especially if you're a celebrity and you have all these followers, that's your stock. Like you can generate a lot of money based on your social media. Yeah, but let's slow down because you're not even really supposed to believe that people are deleting anything until 32 days later. No, I know that, <laughs> but and that's and that's the other thing because there's that window that yeah. I didn't even know existed. It stays there yeah. that lets you just yeah you can get go back and get it. Back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's chill. So that's a chess move for now. But why? I can think of a few reasons if you're mad at your label. Nah. I mean, I could. I'm not saying I'm. Because you could push so much other shit in that moment. <laughs> That's your platform. You could push so much other shit. You know what I'm saying? They fucked up my video. Cool. Here's some behind the scenes shit. I killed it. I look good in these outfits. I did this. That. I, here's my family. Well, you, well, you know what I'm learning a lot in the past two years. I'm learning that half of the game is plug and play, mm. and half of the game is get it from the mud. Mm. Now I'm not saying what Tiana is. Because Tiana, got it Tiana from the mud. to me is get it from the mud. Absolutely. Sometimes get it from the mud. People can be hampered down by contractual obligations. Mm-hmm. That's why I never really want to speak on what's going on with her because I know she's get it out the mud. Mm-hmm. But if I look at her the last two years, she looks to be having some other issues to mm-hmm. where she can't really. She's move. not happy. Yeah, yeah, but and I'm sure something's going on to where she can't move, can't, move she can't on do, her own. Absolutely, is what I'm saying. Absolutely. So, and, and but it's Tiana, a lot of people that's like plug and play. Yeah, like that are not gonna go the hey, I can do it, I can create it, I can figure it out. I go the long road to backing money, whatever it is. Right, they're gonna go for oh, that's already existed and and running and operating, and I can just take a check and you insert me and that be the end. Mm. I'm going for that. Mm. That's that's not spoken about enough. Uh, and, and it's uh. 
in Islamic. But anyway, go and ahead. I, th- I think with Tiana, is, it's not just a video with her, because I would say most of her stock in her career falls on dancing and visuals. Like, we saw what happened with her career with the Fade video. Like, yeah, she could put out BTS and that shit, but that's really going to get to her fans. She did a whole video on what uh, award show is that, that Fade went on. Like, that, went, VMAs, out to, right? that yeah. went out to the world. That was not just people that know Tiana Taylor, and it was mm-hmm. really beneficial for her. And we, when that album came out, we all said, oh, Pop This Pussy, that's going to be the follow-up to Fade. She put that on there to do the video. Mm-hmm. All right. So that, I think, was a major part. And after fucking up the album, then you're going to fuck up the one thing that would still launch me to this, you know, other Which market a, that's not just my fans. It's a strong suit, it's visually. Yeah. Right. yeah. So, to, yeah, I'm, I'm in front of Def Jam seeing them the moment they fuck up the video portion. Now you really don't care about me. But I just don't understand that because when Tiana was faced with the whole tour thing with Jeremiah, she went to social media as mm. a relief to like still make that a successful tour. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like she went to that and was like, "Listen, the tickets are still on sale. We, I'm still doing this. The yada, yada. and it was a, a success. A success. Right. So I don't understand why she would then delete her account. Like when you know what it can do for you in times of, you know, despair when you're not happy. Like you know, you can turn to your core and they're gonna support you. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, you have to add in just the human factor of social media. I know we portray celebrities and shit, and they should act differently. But there's still humans with something in their hand where they can reach a bunch of people, and when they get angry or emotional, they're probably going to say some things they don't. That mean. part, that that part's not spoken about enough too, more. For for you, it may be as simple as just deleting the app from your phone. For no, some, I wouldn't delete that. I would just not open. Or that. just not opening it. Yeah. But, well, I mean, but that's, even that's that. what I meant as yeah. as just not open it. Some people they don't have that type of self restraint, mm-hmm. and some people those those words from strangers really affect them at a much harder rate. No, we, than, we, we, than we, some we, we other speak people. about that. Like I, I don't be giving a fuck what strangers yeah. say. Yeah. Uh women know. I, I know a lot of women who that that stuff bothers them. Mm-hmm. Like I couldn't get to a point where I was turning my comments off. Mm-hmm. I was actually proud of saying that when she was going through all that shit. She was like, no, I'm not turning my comments off. I, mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not running. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna have this conversation. Absolutely. Like Yeah, I'm not turning my comments off. <laughs> no. No. I don't, and that, that's another thing I don't understand. Like turn the comments off. It's just, I don't know, but I understand that social media is like, it's a monster. And, you know, and if you're a celebrity and you have all these followers and, you know, they have direct access to your phone, basically that's what social media is. They have access to your phone. I can understand how it can be a little overwhelming and, you know, but deleting it and deleting all that stock that you've gained and, and you've built. No, I don't agree with that. All right, I don't care enough about this. Let's let's move on to someone else who was deleted. Uh, RCA dropped Tanache. Yeah, I read that, but I didn't read it. Let's say it though. <laughs> let's say it together. Let's, RCA let's dropped drop Tanache. <laughs> Come on, all of us. Why do you want to say it together? Everyone together. Come on, man. Enough. En- enough. Enough. Because they should have dropped her five years ago. Why you feel like that? Yeah, though? that's not fair. She hasn't produced for five years. You don't know that. Don't do that. They should have told her not to take pictures with. There's a lot of artists that produce, but business gets in the way. You know Knock that. Knock it off, man. Tanache, Tanache tried to give that girl, pretty light girl, the pretty light girl treatment. And no, it didn't work. It didn't work. Got one good record out of it and nothing ever again. But yeah, I'm not going to say- Anybody else, they would have let go a long time ago. Mm, I, don't, I can't say that because, uh, listen, you, you, you get these, like you said, you know of all people. Well, you could of, be producing great shit and the, the labels, you just have a disconnect. And it's like, yo, they, not, they don't see it. They don't see the vision. They don't understand what I'm trying to do. Like, people don't understand. When you I'm, sign to label, it's almost just as important as- how you used to say if an athlete is in the right system. Yeah. Like, you can be in the right system and be a superstar. You go to the wrong system, and it's like... All right, well, slow down. I'm not... All right, so, so, let, she me, wasn't so, let, me, so let me walk this back. Because you're She's right. Not Just Tanage, to the- Tan- I'm, I'm only speaking about <laughs> Tanaje's time on RCA. I get it. Uh-huh. Like, she might go somewhere else and pop off. Right. She might go go over there with Berg somewhere and, right. and be a whole different case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh but on RCA, mm-hmm. it didn't seem like a good fit. It didn't seem like a good marriage. It seemed like she was searching for an identity uh, the entire time, even when uh, Two On was out. Even when Two On was out. So, okay, so, so are think, you saying they should have... My bad, Rory. So are you saying they should have dropped her five years ago based on their if they mis- if, mishandling of her yeah, or her, yeah, lack, yes, of, yes, or her yes, lack of yes. ability? I, I can't speak to her lack. Okay, I don't, I don't I, know her. Okay, that's all I, I was trying her. to figure out. That's all I was trying to figure out. Oh yeah, no. When I talk about artists not producing, yeah. it has nothing to do with their actual ability. Okay, okay. I'm, I can only go on what we're seeing. Gotcha. So yeah, those Tanaji records, nah, nah, they wasn't, they wasn't it. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, 
to, to your point of her having an identity crisis and trying to find who she was in an artist, I think RCA is really good at letting artists be themselves. Like, I think they do a great job with SZA. Like, and their whole roster is kind of similar to that from the R&B shit. So if you're fighting to find out what your identity and sound is and shit, and I us- I'm usually a blame the label guy, RCA tried. They gave that girl a lot of push, put a lot of money behind it, but again, you're just a different person every time you come well, they, out. They clearly tried <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, but I think they're better at letting artists kind of be themselves and kind of let them go. All right, you can do this creatively. We'll back you where we can. And that's why I love RCA as a label. I just don't think Tanache needs to be in that system. I think people maybe need to say, "Yo, this is who you are." Which label you don't love? Uh, Def Jam. Now I don't love. Uh, I used to not particularly like Epic. I like Epic switched up a little bit. Um, but no, I've always spoke how highly of RCA. They've, they've been my I favorite did label. Some, I did they some, let R. Kelly be himself, too. I did some... Uh, <laughs> I if I laugh. never hear the name R. Kelly again for the next five years, I'll be totally fine with no, it. I'm with like, you. I'm R. Kelly down. Yeah, I'm with you. I did some research after our future debate uh, on the last podcast, Rory. Yeah. That 50 million number is no cap. That's a real number. <laughs> he got that shit. <laughs> so I didn't want to give him his flowers. <laughs> yeah. You don't think he deserves it? I would never say that. No. He probably deserve he might deserve more. Okay. I I far from deserving it, I'm talking about the people that actually get it, warrant it and get it. Mm-hmm. Not deserves it. I think it's and we in the music business, so it's many of us that deserve shit. Right. But the people that deserve it and get it, mm-hmm. they should be held to a different a different standard, a different accord. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's a lot of money. It is. Whatever whatever is in the contract, whether it be five yeah. albums. Yeah. I get what you're saying. We don't need to know what's there. Yeah, just to, That's that, a lot of money. Yeah, to get it, it, yeah, I wouldn't give a fuck neither. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. His dirty bright 19. It never dawned on it, it, yo, it never <laughs> dawned on me that while niggas is just out doing all of the million press outlets and just looking a little different, that it could be because I just got fifty million dollars, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want me to do? I'm on a whole different vibe. You want me to go sit and talk to Rob Markman? Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm here. So you want me to talk to Ebro? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Y'all pay me. I'll go talk to anybody. Spotify, million. give us fifty million dollars right now. Guess who'll be at Genius tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, so this is the way the deal is. <laughs> this the is way not, the deal is constructed. Yeah. You guys, you got to tell them how it's constructed. The, the third quarter, sure. this, this bumps in right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incentives. Then after the second option, the spike. Com- yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm giving them all that sauce. <laughs> yeah, for sure. They gonna know when I got fifty million. I'm gonna get me some new homeless 50, looking shit. Fifty. <laughs> yeah, we saw the show with snaps this weekend. Oh. Yo, now it's just a joke because Joe dressed bad. Y'all just be shitting on fly shit now. I don't care. I don't care that no shit more. Was fly? Yes. One thousand. Which one was it? I was, yeah, that that was in LA dying. That jacket was man. stupid it was like hard. Four raincoats. That jacket is hard. That jacket, jacket is hard. hard. There's nothing yeah. you can say about it. That jacket. Yeah. Oh, there's a couple joint, things. Did you show me on Saturday? Not, yeah. Oh, yeah. That jacket, jacket, jacket is hard. Yeah, it's a good jacket. It's not a good jacket. It's hard. It's hard. Was it a pinstripe bubble? It was like four jackets, bull. It was like in three different pieces. I just hate the Balenciaga sneakers. I'm gonna be honest. Don't buy, don't buy another pair of Balenciaga sneakers. I didn't. No, but don't, but don't wear another pair either. Though I wore them on the two degree day because those are really good insulated sneakers. That was a logical decision I made in my closet. Those sneakers are terrible. They're really warm though. You can get warmer. You can get warmer sneakers. You can get, you get warm Tim's. boots. I didn't want to put Tim's on. No, you don't have to put Tim's on. You can get other boots. All right, let's talk about something else. There's a lot, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot to talk I about. I hate those. But sneakers, there's a lot to bro. talk about. Yeah, there's a lot in the docket. No, no, no. We're, we're getting through it. Let's, we're getting through it. That let's, was something let's, we needed let's, to talk let's, about. We about fifty minutes. We yeah. don't need to talk about that. No, we need to talk about it. We had to address it. <laughs> Parkston recorded some rappers that did six hundred punchings. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you. Try me. For sure. Damn, you're not you're not one take Joe. No, not with a seventy four bar verses. Most Damn, of these, first, wait, all wait, these wait, rappers that, but they was lying. Joe, you not one take, and you write your rhymes down. Yes. <laughs> Why was that trendy? I don't know. Why was that trendy to I, be one I, take and not write your rhymes down? I don't know. It's still, it still might be a thing, actually. I was punching my way home, baby. <laughs> it's all the way through. <laughs> After two bars, all right, you got that. <laughs> All right, pick All right. it up. Pick it up from here. Do half a bar here. Hold on. Yeah, we're gonna kill this verse. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna double the vocals right there. What was we just talking about? That was funny. Gig it. Gig it. Maul said I was signed to gig it. Dog. Hell yeah. Everyone was signed to gig it. I'm 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 putting out my wake up now, Doc. 
Wake up. Yeah, now. I'm getting Caitlyn. Joe, what's the Joe? You wake up now, right? Joe is definitely wake up now. No, oh, no, they I don't even know if it's no, true. No, 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 my bad, Joe. They photoshopped it into Joe's hand. I know I've seen the picture of Joe holding that shit, though. <laughs> but it was photoshopped. But he definitely took the meeting. Bro, I don't fuck with you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fuck with you. you- Honestly. No, but they photoshopped it. My bad. And um, I'm gonna let you know. Yeah, you, right. you, you bitch ass nigga. I'm gonna let you know. You wasn't waking up. And um, um, and, and I'm just I mean, being real, still bro. Like, like, I just already. Feel- is this the podcast that we uncover all of the secret turmoil that has existed amongst us that the fans can hear? Like, oh, which they, one? they're hip to me and Maul's undercover beef. <laughs> they feel like no, they, 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 all, all they also feel like Ro- Ro- they all, beef. No, that beef kind of simmers yeah, down that faded though. they also feel like Rory and Maul are dying to jump me after one of the podcasts well, like, that's all true. of this is in my mentions <laughs> are y'all not getting this no I, uh, I, get, I get some of it well I haven't been on Twitter in a few days so maybe I don't know is that the title meeting yeah <laughs> the title, the title revolt so on the hybrid Conference. mashup the fuck out hybrid of palooza <laughs> no there was no palooza there it was a hybrid mashup palooza. Rory, man, yeah. is that Rory? Yeah. Yeah, Rory is so mad y'all Rory. ain't have a palooza. Yeah, yeah. Rory. Rory. Wait, 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 wait. didn't want to have a palooza for his I, birthday. I don't know, man. I tried yeah, to tell him he should have a dinner. normal dinner. Yeah, he's like, nah, this ain't even a wave no more. Why you trying to be an adult? Like, yeah, Big's Palooza. Let's get yeah, in. Yeah, could have done Big's Palooza. <laughs> Let's get in the uh, fiery palooza. Oh my god! With ja, ja Rule has responded via via tweets. Clap back. Thank you, Savon. Yeah, actually, he did clap back. Let me cue it up. Get it to talk, Rory. <laughs> yeah, he went. He went, brother Malcolm, on us. He definitely did. He went, he brother Malcolm. When he was did. preaching, I, oh, yeah. I saw some. I too. I, I that one nigga John. says I too was. I too. I too was hoodwinked. <laughs> hoodwinked. He said hoodwinked. Yes, uh, he did the whole. I thing. lost it. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. What he says, hoodwinked? "I love." Ja Rule tweeted, "I love how people watch a doc." <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do too and Let's think, stop there And think they have All the answers John, It was two docs Word. It was mad docs <laughs> and, and, and they both And they both were Chock full of answers I was just yeah. They had all any, answers Any answer or question That was there Was answered It's yeah. true Sorry John From Different angles He says I had an <laughs> amazing witnesses. I had an amazing vision To create a festival Like no other I would never scam Or fraud Anyone What sense Does that make Especially not some influencers. I don't. You know, when people say yeah. that, it makes me think that they scammed. <laughs> every he, he every gave scammer us, has said yeah, that while they were in handcuffs Jai, in the Macy's. And house. he gave us pain as love too. Ja, it makes sense. <laughs> every scammer has said that in Bloomingdale's once they got caught. What kind of citizen do you yeah, think I am? Yeah, true. <laughs> a true. nigga that came citizen. in. A nigga that came what in. What type of citizen? <laughs> Someone with a bunch of gift cards <laughs> that they didn't buy. Yeah, nigga, that's the type of citizen I think you are. <laughs> Actually, it was watching the two docs that gave us a lot of answers. Oh, somebody said that. And then Josh said, and you still don't know shit. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Josh, old school. He's going to die with the lie, man. Somebody somebody said, you should have been charged too. And Josh said, it'd be your own people. (laughs) He's right. He's giving them 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 PC answers. Who said that, Ashanti? No. (laughs) Ashanti was in one of those videos. Was she? Yes. See, that's what we need. Hold up. Let's take turn this music off. We need Ashanti on the phone? We, no, we need the Ashanti doc. I'm in. Ashanti, so I'm here for the listen, Ashanti Irv doc. think he doing tails. <laughs> <laughs> Ashanti tails. I would definitely watch the Ashanti doc. I'd watch it. I would. Definitely watch Ashanti's tails. A number of times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Joe. All right. That's all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, Josh says, Hulu paid Billy. We knew that, John. <laughs> it doesn't change anything. Either. That money should have went to the people in the Bahamas. Netflix paid Fuck Jerry, who also did all the promo for the festival, thinking emoji. The docs clearly have Billy at fault, but let's blame the rapper, LMAO. Okay. No, you were his partner. John. <sighs> I don't, yeah. He was on the video saying wild shit like, "Yo, it's not <laughs> scamming. It's just it's, it's false, false advertising. advertising." No, he yeah. said he said it's not fraud. John was said, oh yeah, yeah, that's the definition of fraud. Right, John Rule, man. <laughs> Who the fuck gives a fuck what John Rule thinks at a time like this? <laughs> Me, <laughs> all, all of us, yeah, all of sure. us. But John, but John, John was down with the Magnesis scandal. Was he? Yeah. 
20, that's when he started to be And the Hulu doc, it says that's when Billy met him, when he was trying to book him for some he Mad shit. And let me just say, this wasn't really stated very much, but crib. Rick Ross was killing his Magnesis performance. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, no, he was. was up there, yeah, come on, yeah, come on. He was on. getting busy. Come on, that was the real dawn. Yeah, <laughs> that was the real dawn. Not down for the double peanut. The why like, it went through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was good. I think I'm big meat. Yeah. Fake card and all. Yeah, he, he killed it. Out? He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Shout out to Ross, the boss. Um, what else were we saying just now? What else was I saying? Oh, so that's when they said he met him, but but then he stayed on board. So he stayed on board from the Magnesis debacle. Then you were there for the entire fiery everything. And granted, you might not have known all the intricate details that your hedge fund scammer buddy was doing with his white boy friends. Mm -hmm. You're not, that's above your pay grade. I got that part. Mm -hmm. Um, But you were there after it folded as well. Right. And you were there for the cleanup, not actually the physical, literal cleanup of the property or the the damage (laughs) done or the damage done to the locals. You were there for the cleanup amongst the company where the employees at the company was confused. Like so that's what makes it look a little look a little funny for it Ja. Paid. <laughs> um, uh, he's on camera when he was on the phone talking about how do we clean this up and make it look better. <laughs> that says your involvement is a little more than you you say on, in these tweets. He said but, in the tweet it was my vision to have this f- festival like yeah, but there's nothing take, wrong with take that. Take some ownership. But there's, no, but there's no, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But there's nothing wrong with having a vision. Yeah. Nothing wrong with having a vision. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's not do that. Well, use your sight. <laughs> use your foresight. You have to use vision <laughs> when you have a vision. Yeah, when you have the vision. To kind of see what's going you on. You got to have vision. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm cool. I don't need to read any more of, of, of those. Uh, I think Ja meant well, but then. I did. I did reach out to Ja for an interview, but that yeah, was before before all these docs came out. So I, I don't think I'm getting it, y'all. No, you're not. <laughs> you're not. I'm just. I'm just telling I, y'all. I don't. Well, no. I mean, that's deep rooted with fantasy football, so I think yeah. that's where it really starts. Ja, sure. ja, not fucking with you. I would, do we see any maturity and growth with Fifty Cent through this whole thing? Because I was glued, waiting. <laughs> To that's see what a, Fifty had to say about all this, that's you interesting. Try to actually, now that I think about that, that's interesting. I thought about it. I just, I just thought that Fifty hadn't gotten around to seeing him. <laughs> seeing him, he ain't got to see you. No, <laughs> seeing, seeing the docs. Oh, okay, I okay. still don't think that matters. No to way he could have seen <laughs> yeah, these docs and, and not and not have posted something, right? No, yeah, I'm with you. Once he see it, we'll know. He gonna be late to the party. Like it Facebook. might even be funnier mm-hmm. if it is in six months that Fifty just starts, <laughs> starts talking about this shit. Yeah. Are you guys worried about the new J Cole single? I, I know say Rory worried. is. I know Rory is already. Wait, Where you think I'm wait, worried? Actually, wait. I'm sorry. I take that back. Not Rory. Maul is a middle child. <laughs> wait. Do you think? Do you think he's in fact subbing Maul of the Joe Button podcast? Maul, are you a middle child? I'm the youngest. You so think he ain't, that, he ain't you think me. somebody could think that you're a middle child? Wait, yeah, Joe, you you're a middle child. About me. You can think anything about me. <laughs> Is what I said. <laughs> Just know he counting his bullets. <laughs> counting his bullets. Somebody's getting shot. What number you think you are? I'm not getting shot. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You he definitely will, are. All third verse. He's going to hit you in the middle of your Young, fucking no, phone. I'm not, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Why are you saying that? Okay. You think that for you, real? You think you, you think you think you get invite, uh, your yellow ticket to uh, Willy Wonka in the chocolate ticket. factory on purpose? <laughs> Ma, I don't, I'm not from the, the school that personalizes everything. I don't think you're, you're I the principal of the school that person. Like Joe, <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't, in yeah. fact, me and Joe. Yo, it was Jose. J O Z E. Yeah, like you're, <laughs> you're, you're the principal about? of that school, Joe. You're the dean of ad- admissions. Y'all think I personalized things? Joe, are you serious? Don't look at me and ask I'm me. I'm very that. serious. <laughs> don't look at me and ask me that. I'm serious. You're the king of well, person. I just told you, yes. I well, do. you as of late have been trying to push a lot of false narratives about me. So no, I have I'm, not. I understand. <laughs> we got some type of <laughs> inner beef happening. No, we don't. Where I just got to stop doing everything. Parks just said. You personalize right. beefs. I mean, you personalize things. He, he, he got an issue with you too? No, that's my nigga. That's my guy. <laughs> so, so wait. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, so he this, said the same thing I'm saying, <laughs> and now you say I'm trying to like beef with you. Rory, you think I personalize things? Yes, 100%. <laughs> Tell me more. How do y'all wait, How do y'all conclude that? Uh, I think there's a whole Ooh. 9 a.m. in Calabasas record where you personalize things. The whole thing. You guys are with not as smart as I give y'all credit for sometimes. I'm trying to have a real talk. Is no, that your real answer? That's one example, yeah. Okay, I'll give another one. Thank Jay, you. Jay on, said he me. was not talking about you on that record, and you still don't believe that. You don't look anything like Sean Bradley. And you'd never average a double-double. I'm just saying, bro, you personalize let's, let's a lot of on. shit. Let's move on. You do. I, you do. Y'all got it. But I do y'all think J. Cole it. is going to come at... I don't think J. Cole this, said this. This platform. I'm not going to... This platform? Yeah, he's going <laughs> to... 
Joe Budden Podcast Inc. Yeah. You know, they could go after. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> go sure. after the Inc. Three birds, one stone. You know how that go. That's what it is. Hmm. You and you, so? well, you are a middle child. No, I'm not. Uh, you have an older brother and a younger brother. That's true. I'm the oldest of my mom of my uh, dad's kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm the youngest of my mom's kids. That sounds Which like average is that out to like the middle. middle. That's not, yeah. That's oh. Oh. It's a Venn diagram. And you somewhere. saw J. And Cole saw, did his homework. You don't I'm, even know he's digging oh. in your family tree. He bought the kill. I'm the middle child. Yes, nigga. I just follow JID today. I don't care who you <laughs> follow. <laughs> he, dissed you. he dissed you and he personalized it. <laughs> I don't care who you follow. Damn. Yeah, nigga, you the middle child. You ain't even know. That's how. Look how deep cold was. With T minus, who did Ooh. she don't put it down? Yeah, that's true. That's on purpose. Now that I'm thinking about it, Ooh. fresh keep, out keep of going. retirement. Keep going. Oh, he got he got T minus from out of retirement to get at me who's in, in retirement. retirement. Oh. Holy shit! Anyone platinum no features? Mm. And you had mad features. Oh. Mm. I ain't even I ain't even put this together like and that. And the listener session was in Atlanta. Sahas from Atlanta. Mm, that's Yo, true. It, it gets that's crazy. True. Yo, it gets crazy. <laughs> it gets crazy. <laughs> <laughs> It gets crazy. It gets crazy. It gets crazy, but it doesn't when get you crazy. You start thinking it's like shit gets I'm crazy. not thinking. <laughs> no, we're thinking as a collective. We're, 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 we're digging through this. Yeah. Damn, so I'm the middle child. Yes, nigga. Fuck you, mean? I thought he was getting ready to send some smoke at Kendrick. Nah, nah. Fam. That's Kendrick ain't got no siblings. Dreamville, you from Gr- <laughs> Dreamville? <laughs> Dreamville, you're from Greenville. I be having dreams. Yeah. In he a know. Ville. That's true. He know. Damn, yeah, that nigga dreaming? know about my dreams. Yeah, nigga. God damn it, Cole. Cole. Cole know everything. I don't think, listen, we joking around. I don't think Cole was in the smoke of me. No. I didn't think that y'all thought that either. No, I don't. I, don't and I didn't think that y'all thought that. I, but, did, I did like the little Christmas Carol Instagram thing where he was loading up his clips. He was checking names, making sure he was naughty and nice. I thought that, I was, feel I thought that was a little weird, but, me, yeah. you know. Yeah. It, it, it worked. People, people started Cole. running. Yeah. All right, so how do you guys feel about him putting out a single in the middle of the Dreamville label I can't tell y'all what I, what I think about that Because then he might Send some smoke at me <laughs> <laughs> No the, the songs are done Don't worry I was done yeah. I didn't like that I didn't like the Posting the of the four picks Deleting it I didn't. What if this is Part of the album though? This I'm, could be the Well I'm shutting up Because album. he is great At rollouts Yeah J. So Cole is great At rollouts So yeah. I mean I don't give a fuck What I think about it <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck what I think about Clearly it. Clearly it's working. For real, because sometimes you just be wrong about shit that you think a, as a consumer. That's true. I could personally I could personally not like it, but know that it's great and it's working. Like, he already had everyone's attention from how he rolled out the uh, Dreamville Sessions, the the flyer, everybody. Came. Like, he's had he has everybody waiting. So just to go further on the limb of, nah, I got more to say. Like, there's more reason for you to get hyped, get excited. The fact that he's well, reaching out to all these other producers, like, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. So he's done a great, he does an amazing job always of getting a base that thinks we're pretty familiar with what he brings to be hype about not knowing what he's about to bring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think that makes a good artist when you yeah. don't particularly know what's next. But, but the, you jokes, jokes to the side, I, he is coming at somebody. You think so? He said it. I mean, I'm taking him at his yeah, word. Yeah, you can't have uh, that rollout without I'm taking him at his word. being around. I'm taking so names. I'm, sure he was I'm, I'm, I'm taking names. I'm making a list. You niggas been talking. I've been seeing it. I'm writing it down. Just had a whole bunch of sessions. We got bars. We coming. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I, I do feel like somebody's getting some smoke. Okay, let's let's think about that. But who who's been who's been going at J Cole? Joe, <laughs> and you? No, I'm I, serious. I'm being honest. Like, be, let's be serious for a second. Who? I, I, what rappers have been going at J Cole? I, I, I don't know. Good question. Here, I was personally waiting to see because if you do all that, that means you're active on your phone. Mm-hmm. If you post four things and you delete them, you're active on your phone. Right. Let's I calculate. know JID is active on his phone. Calculated. I'm watching him. <laughs> Fucking. There's a few of them other niggas that y'all on a phone mm-hmm. because that whole movement is organic from a phone. Mm-hmm. So I was waiting to see somebody from Dreamville congratulate someone from TDE on their Oscar nom. I was waiting to see a mention mm-hmm. of... You think that's the smoke? I'm just telling you what I was waiting to see. Okay. And that would have eliminated... By process of elimination, I don't know who the smoke is for. It might mm-hmm. just be for the people that counted him out. Uh, yeah, I think it might just be that. No, no, no. I think I think Cole is you think saying it's Cole names. names. Yeah. 
I think so. Well, I'm put I put stock <clears throat> in in that verse on that Jeezy song sounding the way that it did. Okay. Like, and if I'm sticking to my theory, which I am because I'm hard headed and stubborn, yeah, they're not letting that go. They're not letting that go. They're not letting it go. Wait, wait, not letting what go exactly? I think that whatever it is that exists, even if it's friendly competition, whatever it is that exists between that peer group, because that peer group is small, I don't think niggas is hype about stepping outside of their peer group to beef. I don't think Cole is making a moment out of stepping outside of his peer group to beef. I agree like, with that. That's my opinion. I mean, shit, he did it with the uh, shit where he was rapping on the bus and just Kanye and Wale and all them. At the time, there's a moment. Group. There's, well, Wale, there, there's, there's history Wale's with too, there's yeah. history with Wale. That, that's why I'm so that so that too. takes that outside of my ruling. They're mm-hmm. friends. If you have history and your friends, right. then that's different. Right. That's the best beef, by the way. That's because. the best beef. Like I didn't feel like me and Rand was necessarily peers when we beefed, but we had a lot of history. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's a great beef. Right. Um. So that takes care of the Wale thing, and Kanye is in his peer group. You think so? Or above, yeah, yeah, Kanye. He's like a generation above, though. Still his peer group. Still relevant, time, relevant music. and dominant enough and active enough now in Cole's era for him to look at. Kind of like Drake, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like okay. Kanye is not really Drake's peer group, but he is. Mm-hmm. Right. Because yeah. he's continued to stay active yes. in hip hop. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Fair. They so, compete with each other each year to put out albums. So, no, I don't have anything that, I don't have nothing else. Outside of what I'm saying to make me think that there would be possible tension b- between Cole and uh, Kendrick. I don't. But I think Kendrick is tired of fucking with Big Sean. And I think we need something new. We need something new. And the fans thing, it's not like, I think after For Your Eyes Only, everyone was really shitting on Cole. Because that definitely was his, his best work. I think that getting at everyone that doubted him shit might work better then because I think it was a pretty good reception to this album besides the regular Twitter shit that everyone says like it's boring I don't think Cole's at this point in his career getting wild on the fans that say he's boring yeah that doesn't it doesn't yeah, matter I don't see it <laughs> it doesn't matter like he don't he's gonna be who he is so it's yeah successful. now that I it's think working. about it I don't know if that's the, the right angle and I, I have mean, a new theory about that whole what, what happened in Dreamville but go ahead and let me stay in hypothetical land even if even if it ain't just uh even if it ain't just a, a Kendrick thing, this man niggas in TDE. <laughs> yeah. So if this is a Dreamville that thing. Really rap too. Yeah, but it's some niggas at Dreamville that can rap too. Yeah, that's true. So, well, they're doing so if they're trying to right do now. a click for they are. Jid and Reason are on tour together. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're gonna make songs. They say we're gonna do what Cole and Kendrick didn't. Yeah, so I'm, I'm erasing that one. I don't <laughs> know who he's got to smoke for. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Is it JID or Jid? So I can just rest. That's a good question. I I say JID. So do I, but someone told me I was wrong. I say JID. Forget it. It doesn't really matter. But Jid is, I guess he's rolling with that too. This could also just be a way for us to talk about it, and it could just be a really cool song where Cole is rapping really well. That's what I think. (laughs) Hey, I rap rap better than you guys. Everyone everyone out there. in there somewhere, but. Yeah, I saw Illmind post. I saw that too. Just, yeah, but I don't put very much stock in what Illmind says. Why? Because Illmind to me is like Rob Markman. He's he will never post anything where he's saying something negative. Never. Okay, I've never not a once. Never it'll really never, it'll never happen. Shit. So when Illmind posts, "Yo, just heard Middle Child, and when I tell you, my mind is blown." <laughs> yeah, that is exactly what I expect for Illmind to say. Which is great. Your mind can really be blown, but when you don't ever have a moment when your mind is not blown, I don't put much stock in it. Like your credibility yeah. is low. But I do think the record is gonna be great. Yeah, I can't. I can't see this being anything short of that because it is the lead I hope to this so. Dreamville shit. I hope so. Let's he just... seems pretty confident about it because Cole's never really put this much stock around a, a single. Yeah, but at, at the same time, man, I just feel like too many, too many people in the kitchen is it, it can backfire. This one sounds like a I, yo, yo, I, I wanted to come up. in here and talk to y'all about that. I, like, lo- I love it for the fact that it brings young creatives together, and you know, it, it's always dope to have young black men working together and it being a peaceful thing. I'm cool for that look of it. But at the same time, musically, it's dangerous because then everything starts to sound all over the place. I do think a lot of people just went to that studio to sit and listen to shit and leave and post sure. about it on Instagram. I don't for think sure. that these kids that are, are, that are recording music this way enjoy it. I don't. I don't. I, I think that when some of the big niggas call and want to do something like that, like Kanye in Wyoming, uh, Wyoming, Drake does it, wherever the fuck he does it at, Cole, like it's certain people, and it's certain people that can get away with this. But 
For the most part, I don't think artists enjoy just a big cook-up session in the studio with a million other artists. No, I think it impedes with a lot of the creative process. Mm. I think outside of the look, like you said, nah. Unless it was for other collabs for other projects. So people Which were just getting shit done while they were all together in the same room, same studio. Let's get like five joints done. You know what I mean? Like, That's a good exactly, yeah. I understand that. But if it's all for one project... Man, that could sound get like a lot you of shit. Dusty Those... niggas out of the fucking band room. <laughs> <laughs> I get, the get, band room. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get out, all of you. Them splits are nasty too. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. And when the it, amount of producers that were in there that could add one little tiny thing into that. I wonder what the it's split, like twenty producers on a record. on sicko mode got to be sick too. That's be, what I was gonna say. We never spoke about that. I'm still blown by that. Like thirty writers. I don't know why you're so blown by that. Well, there's three samples that I was just about to ask. You always have to ask about the samples. There, yeah. there are three different beats. Yeah, give me the loot. Was it? And there's three different two outside different of the samples. The yeah. Like there's a lot. There's, there's three different beats. Each one of those. Then give me the loot has a sample that those songwriters had to get paid for. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so that shit. Busts That's out why, crazy. like after the whole. Uh, Drake thing with Meek and Views came out and like that was the big thing on Twitter that day. Look at all these writers and then it was like, dog, y- y'all just are stupid and you're not looking at every single sample on here and how many writers were on that original song. So it's like Drake had 85 writers. It was like oh, they came not for, really uh, nice for what that sampled Wu Tang that sampled yeah, yeah, Gladys like, Knight that was written by someone else. Yeah, so, so now there's nine extra names from the Wu Tang just for Wu Tang alone. <laughs> like yeah. never mind the Gladys Knight and. The original songwriters who was like Barbara Streisand or some shit. And who Wu Tang sampled on the sample. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I don't even want to hear that argument today from kids who don't care about people who actually write. Like, right. today it's about do you enjoy the song or not? Right. So now, who gives a fuck if they got 50 writers on the song? Y'all like the song? Like, it, it was song. No, of I the still year. love Sickle Mode. It just, that just bugged me out. But I do understand the samples, the other songs, yeah. those writers have to get credit. But it still was like to see that, I was like, shit. 30 writers I understood the five producers part I yeah, obviously yeah. understood that but to see 30 writers was just like crazy to me like god damn but I understand I get it great record so I'm not mad but so we're closing our middle child talk with none of us have any idea who is getting smoke <laughs> from Cole and Dreamville I think you is what we all concluded that's the best we came up with alright well so nobody else no, I don't think he's going to punch down. I don't think he's going to punch not, at Kendrick. I, I, like, like I said, I don't know. I don't who's, think he's punching Drake unless this is shit that he just from a couple of years ago. Maybe he was holding on to that he wants to just address. Finally, I don't know. I, yeah, maybe some gossip happened at the Dreamville sessions that we don't know about. <laughs> maybe, maybe he got wind of some things. That's what that's what was collaborated on. It's gossip. The bottom yeah, line is this: trying this, to get the tea from everybody. Yo, you've been in a session with with Drake. What's up? What was he saying? But but the bottom line is this music has to be good. That's the bottom line. Because if but it's isn't, not, isn't that always the bottom line for every is. artist upon a yeah. release? Y- y- yes and no. Yes and no. M- more yes, pressure like on certain you would, artists. You would hope that artists put their best shit out. But like this shit, to, this big event, to, to all of this social media and then sending invites out to these people. And they, all right. <laughs> we get it. But it better be, this album better be dope. Because if not, it's like, all right, fam, get out of here with all this marketing shit. Like, People don't care about that no more. But if it's not, I don't think it's any any flack off off Cole's back. What do you mean? It, what if what if the album not dope? It is flack off his back. You think so, Parks? Yeah. You think so, right? Yeah. Well, I think, he's, I think he's sheltered a little bit by it's the part fact of his, that it's a compilation, but yeah, but it's still part of your legacy, your career, your label. Yeah. His last album did like what? Five hundred grand first week, something stupid. I'm like not that. fuck the numbers. I'm just talking about yeah. We talk about music. music. Cole is always going to do numbers because he has that core fan yeah. base that buys everything he does. Yeah. I'm and talking about the music. That's a big, like the music. Because the there were a lot of creatives he has around. It's a big core. <laughs> All right, let's hear, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear what this, the, the hoopla was about. Nah, let's you're hear kinda, what the You're kind of insulated when it's a, a, a compilation. Like, we don't really consider... Uh, That's what, what I'm saying. Like, I don't... I don't the good music shit, the cold summer, cruel summer, yeah. whatever that shit. We don't, no, we I, don't I, that. I count that. If the music shit. is not great... I count the Dynasty and Jay's catalog. Yeah. It's your label. Like, no. It gets added. That's a whole album. That... That one's on the fence though. It, it, He's not it's on the like, compila- fence. It's a compilation that's Hove. No, but I, I count. I know, of course. I count it to Hove though. He's the owner of Rockefeller. It's Jay Z presents the dynasty. We like, don't even <laughs> have to talk about that because that album was super fire. We talking right. about when yeah. the album is bad. But that's what <laughs> that's what we're saying. If that yeah. album was bad, that would be a. I, I'm still a, counting a that to Jay. Jay's armor. Bad. That's what that's what we're saying. Yeah. That would be a chink in Jay's armor if that album was bad. Yeah, absolutely. We're not looking at it like oh that was a compilation for the for the roster of the label. No. If Drake puts out an OVO album, I'm putting. 
a lot of that on Drake. They tried to kill Drake for the for the more life for the for the uh, playlist album he put out. They tried to kill him for that. They said, "Oh, that was that was trash." Yeah. They tried to kill him for that. And I'm it was almost, a playlist. I'm almost scared if the Dreamville album is fire because everyone copies each other in the industry. Everything becomes a trend. If these little powwows are going to become yeah. the new shit, oh, I'm pissed. Jesus Christ, <laughs> please, Jesus Christ. You I don't want a powwow. No, I'm cool. <laughs> Yeah, no like, more listen, fires in Wyoming. They all better yeah. than me because the second that <laughs> no ID would have walked in, I would have asked everybody to leave the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe right. don't want to be in the room with the p- producer of the record. Like he doesn't want anybody in the room. No, he said if it was no, no ID, when no yeah. ID walked no, in, no, yeah, everybody that would be the only go. person you would want to be in the room with. I who, get it. Who else needed to stay there? Swiss could stay. Mm-hmm. Swiss could stay. Who who else needed to? Bink didn't go. Who, who? Well, I was about to say if no ID one, walks in, everybody getting out. I'm just telling everyone to get out for Bink too. Just, I'm telling everyone to get out. Yeah. It's certain, well, we know the producers that if they walk in the room with the rappers. No ID in every one of them pictures look like, hey, I could tell all y'all to get out right now. <laughs> <laughs> look, yeah. look at the bigs. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. They, I mean, but yeah, it's certain people you just know, like. I would have left. Yeah. Can't argue, <laughs> can't argue with that. No, oh, no ID wants me to leave? Okay, no problem. Um, Vince Staples just texted me. Uh, with a Dage Loaf record and said, this is my sleeper for the next episode. <laughs> okay. Friend of the show. Vince, you don't get a sleeper. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but thanks, because I was wondering what the fuck is up with Dage Loaf. And Vince has always loved Dage Loaf. Um, she's dope. The Oscars, you always love Dage Loaf, too. Yeah. I, like I think she's dope. I hate when Rory tried to be early on something before we all I wasn't. Hit. I was right when the single came out. No, nah, you came around the creeper early like, ooh, y'all don't know about Dage. I know. <laughs> we didn't even know each other, I think, when that record came out. So? What was that joint? Uh, the the, uh, uh, the try, one that took off? Joint. Try Me joint. Oh, yeah, yeah. did you see hard. Rory when Try Me was out? He <laughs> wanted yeah, someone was, to try him. <laughs> what? She said she's going to kill the whole motherfucking Rory, family. Rory, family. Rory the family. wanted somebody to try him. That's when his anger issues were really showing. I just want to be around the next time somebody tries Rory. I don't. I do. I'm gonna have some popcorn <laughs> and just watch. Watch my nigga Rory get into his trench coat hoodie bag. Look what you want Rory to get into. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good bag. Peace, peace. In my late twenties. Peace be unto everyone. I agree. I had something that I wanted to talk about. Yeah, Rory, you like so two more brawls away from not having to fight no more. You need two more. Twenty nine. Yeah. You can still fight. So. You can still fight thirty. 31. How many brawls do somebody need to not have to not fight anymore? And why are you saying that? Because somebody is old enough or in out of shape. To not have to fight anymore, or you put in you put in enough fights, like in the Fight Club. Yeah, was well, a culmination of both. I think Rory's in a Fight Club. Think so? I've had my fair share of fights. You do say Blues might be a Fight Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fair. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, I can see niggas getting drunk. And That's why Low fight. keep covering up his head. <laughs> <laughs> she got knotted up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> niggas pounding That's him why out. Low keep the snapback on. <laughs> pounding yeah. him out on the head. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Don hype. We just telling jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him hype now. We just telling jokes. You see, he yeah, had it start going crazy. Like, yeah, word. Now, Don. Now, now I want to know what Savon did at Duce Palooza Philly that got him in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's where it started. Bro. Don I, I never said inquired. he ain't leaving the room unless the nigga shit is bigger than his. <laughs> That's when I'm out. <laughs> Sick nigga. Park, man. what are you going to say? I had nothing. I no, I, nothing. I was I was inquiring on how he was going to tell the gentleman to leave the room once it was bigger. <laughs> Yo, fam. <laughs> whoa, 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 buddy. What are you going to do with that? Where are you going with that package? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's some nasty How convenient shit. is that? Wow, Yo, how convenient that is that? That nigga looked over and called that. it a package. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, what flight you're trying to catch with that carry on? <laughs> how do you get the dude out? And how do you check? I've never been in that situation. How do you check? How do you, you check? Hear, you don't hear Rory nasty ass. Well, yeah, you know Rory trying to get his Irish bag. Yeah. How do you check? <laughs> I'm just curious. How do you check? Measure up. Like if a nigga the gray sweats. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's on the invitation. 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh, nah, man. Y'all niggas got Dre- dress That's strictly the dress code yeah. is yo, strict. Don, yo, I will yes, never wear sweats around the Don again. Code. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm wearing strictly jeans <laughs> <laughs> around the Don. With double draws. Yeah, double jeans. <laughs> double <laughs> jeans. <laughs> double jeans. Double jeans. Two pairs. When you're yeah, the I ain't Don. fucking with the Don. Yo, Damn, stupid, Don. Man. Speaking of which, basketball, basketball shorts under the jeans was really a trend for a while. Oh, yeah. That's pretty wild. We was nasty in the uh, early 2000s. Let me just speak for all the guys that was never with that trend and called all the people that were with that trend dusty ass niggas with no, with no home training. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wasn't doing that. Yeah. That was crazy. That was the old lives time. under the jeans. That was a crazy error. Nah, I'm cool. That was a crazy error. <laughs> I know some niggas still do that. And Rory Cap ass was definitely doing that during initiation. <laughs> <laughs> initiation. <laughs> That's exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <ew. laughs> You and the man. Don is go in the cupboard. <laughs> Y'all do niggas go are sit disgusting. in the cupboard. <laughs> uh, so the Oscars, oh, some Bronx tale shit. The Oscar. Right. Go, go sit in the go sit in the bathroom. Right. The Oscar noms. Uh, they came out. Mad people got nominated. Google it. I don't I don't care enough to share with you. You don't want to run down the whole yeah, list. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not I'm not of that ilk. I don't I don't care and I have a theory. I think most people don't care. I think most people most people actually this might be uh googleable. Uh I don't most people can't name the fucking film that won best film last 3 years. I, I definitely What won best I, film last I, year? I rarely even well, the know Shape the Shape of nominations. Water. What was that? 2015? I think it was No, Shape, Shape of Water wasn't last year. No. No, no, no way, Savon. Tell me who won best film the last three years, please, because I don't know, nor do I give a fuck. I'm not one of the people that rushed to my streaming service to play it. I think it was that musical last year. The, uh, yeah, they- Hamilton. It wasn't Hamilton. <laughs> Chris. There, you, there you go, Savon. Take your time, please. Because the, 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 the job... The Savon line, about to read the windows the, the, for the, the 1979. The, the line... Oscars. Yeah, yeah. he almost did. Then he gave yeah. us the whole up finger. He's going to be like, Grease. Savon also... Grease! <laughs> <laughs> Savon also sees how long the line is of people uh, ready to apply for that uh, job. Uh, you feel that steam? Oh, 100%. Yeah, because it is. Young, young niggas is ready to Google and tell us things. Yeah, they are. You up here, I don't know what you're doing. Matter of fact, it's somebody listening right now that got the answer. they like, yeah, what is you, he doing? Yeah, you still searching. It's taking him way too long to Yo, find the answers. What type of phone do you have that it takes you 10? We have a hit podcast. That's a Star Trek. <laughs> never, never, never mind, never mind, Savon. When, when you get to it, you let us know. We'll move on. Well, I have best um, picture here. Thank you, you Rory. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Rory. Help us out. Uh, best picture nominations this year is Black Panther. R, R, R. Is... Black Panther, <laughs> Black Klansman, Bohemian Rhapsody. I can see why he ain't got but so much Book, privilege. Roma, A Star is Born, and Vice. Shout out to Vice. I know they just lost Jesus and Mero. Glad to see that they're back here getting to it. <laughs> I think it's a different for Vice, best but... picture. Yeah, let it roll. Uh, it was Shape of Water last year, Joe. I found the answer. Ah. Yeah. Look at Joe knowing. How about the year before? Moonlight. Mm. By, by accident. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was a big thing. I know because Hove spit the line. Mm. <laughs> it was a hook. <laughs> um, all right, good for them. Yeah. See, that changed nothing in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy about TV. The shape of water. Nigga. I still haven't seen that one. Water is mad shape. Turn the faucet on, you put your finger in, watch out of the splatter. As much as much as you need to know. That's as much as I need to know about the fish dude. A fish. The women, right? <laughs> and yeah, and we called her brave for it. Yo, yo, women get away with a lot of shit. <laughs> yo, only in Joe's brain. Yo, Word. only his brain. She, she fucked a fish, dude. Word. Yeah. Let one guy go fuck a cow and see how that goes over. They're not gonna get a nomination. <laughs> no, because somebody definitely DM the bitch. I'm a cow, shorty. The who? Oh, for sure. Her Niggas DM is nasty. Is lit. Her, yeah, her DM is lit. Yo, listen, listen. I listen. think a lot did. <laughs> Yeah, a guilty pleasure of mine, and I almost thought about making it a segment on this podcast. Sometimes I go to the real fine girls Instagram, you know, like the fine girls who post real stupid pictures with real idiotic captions, and I just those are, those read. Are my favorite. Oh my god, it's the best. <laughs> yeah, I can lose like three hours with yeah, them, sure. and I just read the comments. Mm-hmm. It's the, it might be the best pastime in the world. <laughs> yeah, the things okay. that the dudes is in there wild. giving it up. Yeah. It's not nasty. It's the funniest shit in the world. And, well, and one I day, get in trouble with like why are you following that girl? And the truth you you have to lie because the truth yeah. never seems real yeah, to a woman for some reason. That again. Yeah. Like no, they, I'm, they fuck fish. Like <laughs> <laughs> get out why, of why are we explaining ourselves? Y'all fucking fishes. Yeah, come on, woman. <laughs> y'all y'all fuck fish. <laughs> but yeah, I literally do it to brighten my day up just to see what she's gonna caption her ass naked in the woods as. <laughs> 
Ass niggas in the woods ass. That's exactly why you beat off at 40 years old, just to brighten the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with For you? For no man? other reason. <laughs> this nigga is crazy. That's your number. Well, what did how that? old are you? 37. You a year away from it brightening the day. <laughs> just beating off to brighten my day? And smiling. No. <laughs> smiling after you beat off. You don't, nah. you don't beat off and smile? No, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? What'd you do? I'll probably pass Look out. Chill, no, chill, I, I chill. The dawn is here. <laughs> <laughs> We can't talk like that around the dawn. Yeah, chill. The dawn, look yeah. at his sweats bulging yeah. out. <laughs> hey, Don, you got to get out. Yeah, you get out. Get out of our podcast room. Yeah, take a sip. Cool, take a sip. cool off, man. Go cool hey, off outside. Hey, cool off, my nigga. Hey, yeah. Don't hey. approach us. Just write the time stamps. <laughs> yeah, Savon, that 30 hit joke's not so funny anymore, is it? <laughs> Uh, no, nah, I'm I'm happy I'm happy for Kendrick and the whole TDE with the Black Panther nomination, of course. Yeah. Um, Black Panther the movie, Savon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what? Look at Savon. <laughs> look at Savon. Who's got a Black Panther? <laughs> I, I'm not doing it with him. <laughs> Who has a Black Panther? <laughs> Yo, this is great. This is awesome, man. Hey, remember the Need to Know podcast each and every week. Yeah. Each and every week with some shit you need to know. Um, uh, what was I talking about? I'm happy for Black Kendrick, Panther. TDE with the whole Black Panther nom. Happy for Spike Lee as well uh, with the nom. Happy for Netflix with their nomination. And that's where I have to start paying a lot of attention. Um, it's already been at the tip of my mind to pay attention to how Hollywood receives Netflix. Um, the same way I'm interested in, in the way that these DSPs are operating in music. And mixtapes. I'm, I'm, st- I'm just as inter- yeah, I'm just as interested in how streaming affects Hollywood. Yeah. For sure. So Roma being nominated for best film and having a great chance of winning. See, that's the important part. It's not just that they're nominated. Yeah, they that, that, Roma. R O M A. Um because that they could have just nominated it to throw them a bone. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they didn't have to respect it, but it's there and it's respected. Mm-hmm. So they might win, and that'll be the first time that a net this is the first time that a Netflix film is nominated for best film. And if it wins, oh changes everything. Oh, it changes it changes everything. Mm-hmm. What's so what's then, the um TV awards? Tony's? Yeah. Yeah. That's where I really want to see how it affects Golden things. Golden. No, because, no, no, no. Because Netflix, no, 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 that's not true. The Tonys is Broadway. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm asking whatever Golden the TV Globes is. Golden Globes. The and Golden Globes. The Emmys? The Emmys. Emmys, Emmys is TV. Okay, for yeah, me, Emmys, that's yeah. where I think things really get interesting because a bulk of what Netflix does is episodes. Mm-hmm. It's not just one-off movies. Everything right. is in parts, which to me would cast, you know, make it a TV show mm-hmm. in that category. I'm way more interested because they dominate. With TV, mm-hmm. they may not dominate with movies yet. I think they will very soon. Hollywood, but, but, but Hollywood, TV, they dominate. But Rory, Hollywood is not afraid of the streaming service dominating in in small TV. That's when the cable companies were afraid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, no, Netflix is a film studio, and that's when Hollywood was on high alert. Mm. Netflix is a film studio. They're producing the film. They real content, they, yeah. they produce their their small screen, mm-hmm. their cable. They they're kind of everything now. So mm-hmm. everybody is on high alert. The same way streaming put everybody that was getting money from music in any type of way on high alert. Yeah. Um. So in 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 researching this, in researching uh how Hollywood might receive Netflix winning the best film. That's when I learned that you, the show you that we all have watched and, and we all have spoken highly about uh, that I watched on Netflix. That's when I learned that that was originally a Lifetime show. I never knew that. Mm. So that show was on Lifetime, failed on Lifetime, got averaged about 650 viewers. The show got canned on Lifetime uh, before second season could be discussed. Picked up on Netflix immediately. Huge head, uh, Huge hit on Netflix out the gate re up for a second season immediately. That is in the works. Um, so that's a conversation that they're having as well. Uh, the disparity between the two. How could something be such a large fail on network television and such a big hit on your streaming service? There's a lot of conversations to be had in here. Mm. Well, that's, that's Because the, the creator, that's, that's what I read, the, the creator of the show, You, was so shocked because... 
uh, to him, it was an old show. Yeah. It's like if we do an old podcast and then put it out six months later, we ain't going to think it's going to go off so, like that. So you, right. you, is the you is the boot up version of TV? You is the boot up version? Boot up pops like six months after it, it came out. Oh, really? But yeah. no, Netflix is like, like I said, Netflix is the Walmart of of television and film. Like once you get your product on Netflix, it's most likely going to do a lot of numbers. Because that's where everybody goes to watch their their shows and their movies now is Netflix. The article I read also says they don't know how much stock to put into the numbers that Netflix releases because they don't know how it breaks down into the TV calculations. Like you saying that you did You 40- believe that, Joe? When they say that? When they say what? That they don't know how to, uh, whatever you just said, they don't know how to break down the numbers. and I don't believe that. I believe they know exactly to the decimal I what don't. they're doing. I don't. I, I think that the people that are behind these services are that smart. I, I believe them because I don't think they have it figured out just yet. I'm I'm with you that even if they did, I don't think they would tell us just yet. Yeah. But right this second, well, one, I don't know. I'm I don't know how TV calculates all this shit. But with streaming taking over, you have to account for it now. So if you got forty million whatever on Netflix, how do they? How do you divide it into? Who would watch this show weekly on cable? It's my same beef here on this podcast. Uh, Future puts out a song that goes platinum that's three minutes long. We put out a podcast that goes platinum twice a week. That's three hours long. Hmm. I just don't think that all the configurations have been figured out by the people that need to figure it out. I think they have a better understanding of it than we do, of course. Absolutely. But... I'm waiting. <laughs> yeah, you got to pay attention to it, and I I think that you know that's one thing a lot of uh, our list our viewership should should start doing is you got to recognize the the era that we're in, the times that we're in. Everything is. And wait, I only use future as an example. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't no, need no, to hive I on me. Think, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think nobody take that. But yeah, yeah we got to gotta start. We got to start paying attention to this uh these these new ways of entertainment. We have to. This this the era that we're in. It's the world that we're in, and these are the devices that we're using. So we should know exactly what's going on. Well, that's why I had to do some research after Rory was dropping all those Sony facts on me last week because I wanted to get I wanted to get some more intel on why why if, if did Future sign a fifty million dollar deal is that the deal that you know they just announced you just combine all the budgets and you announce some shit like I want how valid was this deal and it's very valid as it should be because Future is an important part of market share <laughs> mm-hmm. we're an important part of market share. Mm-hmm. You want to, if you're a creative out there, what I'm trying to say is you want to get to a space where you're, you're, you're not negotiating your results. You're not negotiating the numbers that the people that control the numbers use for you to not negotiate your true value. Right. You want to get to a place where you're negotiating how much of the market share you control. That's where I'm going to stop. Because we're not further, far enough along in this contract for me to continue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't give all if that I away. Give it a couple months. But looking at looking at it through that scope, yeah, if, uh, future is pretty valuable. So I asked oh, yeah. Rory and Maul and Erickson and Parks the question that I asked, uh, not Parks, and Erickson and Savon the question I asked Parks before this started. Uh how valuable is Two Chains if you compare him to Future? Oh, uh, Two Chains has a, 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 a lot of other shit outside of just music going on. I think Two Chains is uh, I, don't, I hate to compare, but he's he's gearing himself up to be what Snoop is. What I'm saying is, yeah. if if what Future has developed earns him X amount of the market space, I would assume Future to be just as important. As two chains, I mean not future. As t- I would, as, I would expect two chains to be just as important as future is to Epic's bottom line, to Def Jam's bottom line. Oh, for I certain. For certain. Oh, yeah. I would with their roster now, of, yeah, they don't have yeah, a lot of people sure. over there. Really. He, chains better be fucking priority over there with the roster. Two, I'm, and like, I'm, I'm he should to be step higher than say future he might be. Epic. Y'all about to say that two chains might be a, a more of a priority at this point? Yeah, I think so. 
and we know what Future is. Future is Future. His brand is that's not to you know, discredit. Yeah, no, Future is a fucking artist. monster. But it's to discredit a label that doesn't have a strong roster compared to one that that has a better. Roster. Exactly. <laughs> uh, if you're listening out there, Future's album is crazy. I heard it. It's nuts. I'm telling you, it's nothing to guess. <laughs> Future's album or Two Chains album? I mean, I'm sorry. No, I'm keep. I keep. I'm sorry, yeah. y'all. Two Chains album is crazy. Future's album is good though. I listened to it while I was in LA. Good album. Really good album. Yeah, I like Futures. And listen, man, if there's ever way too many 808s and 2 chains, I'm happy. Word. That's a great combination. <laughs> That's not a problem. It's not. It's not. I was actually just telling Parks, a lot a lot of them beats on there sound like some hard-ass East Coast nigga beats. But 2 chains can really... I'm on here saying that 2 chains can really rap. He did a lot of that on the album. Like a lot of really rapping. Really, really yeah. rap. It's yeah. not just trap and just... No. He can, no, he didn't waste the bar. You know, he can rap. He didn't waste the bar. He can really rap. And and uh, shit, I mean, he's been partnered with with Static Selector, who's very high brow on his boom bap stuff, and he has made it his priority to just work with Two Chains, mm-hmm. like number one, coming from a really boom bap based guy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like he's not just the trap rapper. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Chains, he chains, can do that. Chains he can do is that. respected by the trap shit and the quote unquote. I don't like it to call it that, but the real hip hop shit. Yeah. Right. Like the real MC shit. No, he can rap. Which I don't know how many rappers really have been that. Both as far as both worlds. Yeah, yeah. not not with these compared really highly in both worlds. Mm. Not in the trap era. In different eras, yeah, maybe. Maybe T T I. T I is one. Um, I'd like mm. I I'm bowing out from this podcast. Ever sound like we know what we're talking about with Southern shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, or me. I'm, we can talk about that. I only talk about it. But this is both worlds I'm saying. I know well, about. Yeah, like we can talk about. I can discuss. Yeah, we can talk Two about Two chains, that. I can discuss. Yeah. Right. yeah, outside of that, it gets shaky. Yeah, it gets I'm a not little. gonna pretend like I know. Yeah. Bun B, we can talk about. Yeah, like, sure. yeah. uh, you know what I think is creeping up there? Gunna and Lil Baby. I think real rap motherfuckers fuck with them too. Yeah. And the trap people. Well, do. I fuck with them. Yeah, yeah I fuck I, with them too. I think them two have definitely in both worlds can live. Mm hmm. Yeah, I fuck with them though, just because they keep they continue to produce. Like I mm. only look for people who continue to produce music that I like. Right, that is really no other standard for me. I try to ignore your first big single, and I try my best to ignore your second big single. And if you still putting out shit, I don't care where you put it out from your second single. SoundCloud, the streets. If it's good, it's like oh shit, he can keep going. <laughs> right. Yeah. How good yeah. do you think? Uh, how good do you think Jaden Smith is as a rapper? Really, really good. Really, really, like really, really, really good. Project he put out I think as, a ra- as a rapper and an artist, as a art as a rapper and a young song maker, I think he's really good. As if, an arranger, if, I think he's great. Yeah. If Jaden, if, so Jaden if, if if his dad wasn't Will Smith, I would think he would be talked about more music. Yeah, I think but we're not gift. fucking with I, you because so your dad, my nigga. Get out of here. <laughs> no, it's just it's a gift and a curse. People don't take him, I think, serious enough as an. Because an we've, we've seen more, him as a child. With the sneaky Rockefeller pun. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just serious. They don't. They don't take him serious enough. <laughs> like, it's not it's a like, sneaky Rockefeller <laughs> pun. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck that makes. What you want me to do? I was, I was trying. To, I was trying to figure out what he was saying. I'm like, what, what did I just say? <laughs> you said the gift and the curse. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, with gotcha, you, man. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. Rory though. said best of both worlds earlier too. But Rory forces it in there, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did I say? But oh, I did. You're right with the yeah. trapping. And hip hop. Savon still ain't told us the three movies did one. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga is flustered over there. God damn. Yeah. Nigga, the nigga Savon said Glory Hole 7. Look, <laughs> 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 he's watching all the nasty shit. Backdoor Sluts Glory nine. Hole 7. <laughs> Booty Talk 17. Oh my God. Savon, you need help, man. You need help. And you fix your podcast, man. Uh, where's we at? <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Jaden Smith. Yeah, they, no, Jaden Smith. They put that clip out on a promo. Jaden Smith. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, he, need, he, he needs to be talked about more as a rapper. I think so. I think I think he he's one of those dudes that... So does Amon Shumpert, actually. We did that whole that segment earlier, and I didn't fail to say that Amon Shumpert put a project out, and it's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. It's it's the best project I've heard from him, and I've been listening since uh, he was on, on the Knicks. Knicks tape? Yeah. He, he got a hold of... His sound. I heard them and respected them as songs and wasn't comparing his rapping to Damian Lillard's. Like, good shit. You know, we didn't really bring up, or maybe we mentioned it, but Arian Foster had a great album last year. We mentioned it all of last year, Roy, me and you. We played it, Nine Sleepers. <laughs> I don't think we ever played it. I, I know you and you I did. spoke about you it. You did. You did. But I didn't think we talked about it. We did. Oh, okay. I think we did. They kind of killed Arian after he said that Tupac shit on Van Lathan. Oh, I saw the clip. Thing. I didn't. What did he say about that? Tupac wasn't the the great lyrical or great rapper that people 
put him in the category to be something along those lines. Basically saying that Tupac was basically overrated. Yeah, okay. Well, wait. Since we talking about shit that people said. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mean a I really like Van Lathan, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Van's my guy. Yeah, but some, he, he's our guy, but he's over there. He's with TMZ, which, so we look at him a little funny. That's our guy, but he's over there, so it's like, you we know. We still keep him accountable that's our, for his That's TMZ our guy that's over there. That's our guy that's over there. He's at TMZ, but, <laughs> he, he's, at TMZ, but he's yeah. not of TMZ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, he's, that, not, he's not of TMZ. Yeah, that is yeah. our guy over there yeah. with them. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I just thought this was funny. So, yesterday, the CIA... Well, two days ago, the CIA had tweeted, yo, happy Martin Luther King. <laughs> the CIA King. tweets? Yeah, the CIA tweeted. I didn't even know, but they tweeted, happy oh, Martin Luther I King that, Day. Yeah. Happy that you put such yeah. great strength forward to make yeah. our country. A- and Van responded yeah. and said, oh, y'all think we don't know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Van is stupid. Van-, Van is an asshole, man. <laughs> Because Van is one of those intelligent people, but he's like a condescending dick. That's why he's like us. If you think that Bush and Harvey won't lock your black ass in a TMZ (laughs) bathroom buried under the basement somewhere to never be found, you better watch your fucking mouth, Van. We love you. Yeah, but the crazy shit is we would have never seen that tweet from the CIA had it not been for Van. I would have never saw the CIA tweet. Me neither, me neither. I didn't know the CIA had a Twitter. Yeah, like why does Van follow? Does he follow the CIA page? Van is crazy if he follows the CIA on Twitter. <laughs> He's crazy. I need to be able to just make up some initials and get government backing. For, for you're, you're like 250 years too late. Oh, you back to your white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> he knows. He knows how late we are, Joe. Somebody else tweeted, it looked like Ariana Grande wear cartoon panties. <laughs> <laughs> see? Yeah, see? See what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the type of audience we have. <laughs> Look at our follow? audience. Look at our audience. Wait, <laughs> wait but that's kind of what I was trying to say a few weeks ago. I didn't know how to get it out. You don't think I'm, that I'm Ariana glad, looks like she wears like cartoon no, panties a little I'm glad, bit? And I'm glad you didn't say it. Thank you, Joe. No, <laughs> no somebody else said it. I, I'm glad. Hey, homeboy, I want to give you a credit. Let me find it. I'm give his credit. He probably doesn't want it. his credit. Yeah, that's fuck hilarious. <laughs> y'all, are, cartoon, y'all are stupid. Cartoon panties. Y'all are stupid. Come on and shut your mouth. <laughs> this nigga is stupid, man. Don't get Maul riled up. Uh, you know, that's his girl. I love Ariana. Yo, Maul and the people that Maul has loved. I'm not gonna talk. We'll get into that later. Oh, but I love Ariana. Let's see what it was loved. Oh yeah, man. See what see what future made me do, man. What? Now now you can you can mute and block artists on Spotify. <laughs> That's really? petty. Now I didn't want int- to. I Just didn't want to have page. to introduce that new feature this week. Right. <laughs> I left the podcast last week. Really didn't feel like I had too many viable options. Mm. So this is all you. I don't want to see Future's name now. Damn. Blocking it. You salty. I'm muting, I'm, I'm muting that off my feed. Damn. You yeah. want to hear the Future? Not on my feed. Here's some salt and vinegar chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, very salty. Stop, this is tough giving niggas space He can punch our, out That's why we have cameras this backwards <laughs> <laughs> Spotify <laughs> chips <laughs> That's what's called Spotify, Spotify chips ooh, ooh. Yeah. When they came out with chips <laughs> It's the same colors <laughs> He said ooh <laughs> <laughs> When they came out with chips <laughs> <laughs> Oh I play my role great <laughs> Yo alright we got Speaking of playing your role great We got a round of applause for Charlemagne Hold up man All right, cut that, cut that shit off, man. That's enough applause. That's, That's enough? That's enough applause. Um, so iHeart had their uh, annual first podcast, their first annual podcast awards. Uh, we weren't there. And I want to say congratulations to Charlemagne, who won best podcast at the iHeart Awards. No, well, he didn't win. Breakfast Club won. He accepted. 
Charlemagne was just as confused as you guys are right now, <laughs> listeners out there. The, the Breakfast Club. Charlemagne won got up there and said, "You know, normally when you're a gracious winner, you get up there and shit on the other nominees by saying <laughs> I had no idea I would win. I had nothing prepared. Mm. Right. That's just how you shit on everyone else who was nominated. Saying, like, damn, I thought y'all was in the same league, but you're not. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought all y'all had just as great of years as me, but you but, didn't. But clearly not. <laughs> yeah, I was wrong. The whole." <laughs> board agrees with me <laughs> that's what they do Charlemagne got up there and really gave us a serious yo I didn't plan to win this I didn't know what was going on <laughs> he said that and then said he just found out that it was a podcast two weeks before that I believe him I don't, I, I, don't, I don't believe him I believe he didn't know Breakfast Club had a yes, podcast he, yes, well defi- he define no, a podcast yes he did we knew when because, they, because came they put out. it on SoundCloud it became a podcast Oh, that's what they do. They just take the show and put it I, That would be my guess. Okay. Uh, well, that's how you determine audio, right? What you what you do with your no. audio. If they strip the audio and it's not on the actual airwaves and they put it on SoundCloud, it becomes a podcast, right? Good for them. Sure. Yeah, yeah guys, you have to be gracious losers to be gracious winners. <laughs> Come, guys. We didn't lose God, We did lose. We were nominated. nominated. That's a loss. <laughs> but we're not I That's heart. a loss when you're not nominated. Let's talk about the Spotify. You awards. lost. Yeah, but we're not oh, iHeart, and that's a win. Hold up now. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, <laughs> when the Spotify, Spotify Awards happen, we're going to have Ill, Illa, Illa Music, then iHeart Awards, uh, Illa Stage. Uh, Come on, we're at the gunshot while I'm going on a rant. <laughs> <laughs> Iller stay Iller uh presenters. We're not gonna be surprised when we win. Yeah, no. We gonna know we won because Lauren and Jesse will have rigged it. <laughs> us and the German boys. <laughs> that other German big podcast. Yeah, yeah, us and Amy Schumer. No, not that one. That's the only one that I see next to us. Let's put the stop. Don't they should stop putting it next to us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, what else what we talk about? And don't say he didn't get mad when he see Amy Schumer. I love when white people get mad at like white beef that I can't get mad at as a black dude. Dumbest beef. But as a black dude, we I I can't get no, mad. No, it's entertaining. At this. It's entertaining. But uh, I have bigger shit <laughs> on my plate. Yeah. But Amy Ian, Schumer? who is just historically fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Historically great. <laughs> <laughs> Ian could get mad that they could keep putting Amy Schumer podcast next to ours. <laughs> hey, whoever's listening that works with us, stop putting <laughs> Amy Schumer's podcast next to ours, please, because it makes Ian feel away. <laughs> okay. Hi, <Why>? Ian. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Like, yeah, she, no, well, she no, can't no. be Rough Riders. Well, like, she can't just be no, like in the building no. with us and Ian, just a different. No. Ian's right. <laughs> Ian, Ian is, Ian's right. He shouldn't use Amy Schumer as his example because she's gang, gang, gang. Right. Uh, but he's correct in that in podcasting. They should put uh, Save All Shit next to ours. <laughs> why don't you guys just continue to bring down the value of our podcast? <laughs> while, while I'm trying to talk. Why, why don't you do that? He's, he's right because in podcasting, people are trying to figure it out. Nobody knows what's going on. So you take that very... Ice Age ideology of famous people with a lot of audience should be able to transfer their audience to a different uh, yeah. uh, outlet and it work. Oh, she not popping? I don't know. Uh. But the name Amy Schumer, next to the name Joe Budden, you would think that Amy Schumer should do XYZ compared to because it's a bigger name, bigger celebrity, XYZ. That's sure. not the case in podcast land and the corporations are starting to find it out. Okay. Some the hard way. Gotcha. So y'all be real careful. You know, last week I said we was going to touch on the disparity of, of ad dollars and how they're distributed between uh, black entertainers, black personalities, and whites. But I, I'm going to have to take some more time to learn how to have that conversation because of my argument in the culture vulture conversation. You can't be culture vultured if you're complicit and you're down. So I need more time with that one because a lot of these... A lot of the personalities that I feel should make a lot more money, i.e. Ebro, for a long time I felt Ebro should have made a lot more money from Apple and should have had a much higher position at Apple and they just gave him that raise probably for other reasons that I will not say here. Like, <laughs> if you're plug and play like we was talking earlier, I'm going to fight for you to get more money, more, more money for yourself harder than you are because you're plug and play. And when you plug and play, you rather just be plugged into somewhere so you can continue to pay your 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 bills and, and you think very formatically. 
very tough to think outside of a box. So it's tough for me to fight for people. It's tough for me to fight for people and tell people to move out here in, in the negotiation streets the way I move because the, the way niggas, we move rogue. <laughs> Like I'm not going, and I'm, I would I would never advise people to take some of the risks that we've taken. They're not smart moves. They just worked out. <laughs> yeah, but you just got to. I'm off on a tangent. What no, were we originally just, talking about? No, that's not, oh that's why why Ian is mad about the Amy Schumer shit. But that's that's why that's what I said last week. So we won't talk about the disparity of ad dollars and how they're given out. But this Amy Schumer conversation is one of those conversations that you know we'll have at a later date. Okay. But Ian, you gotta cut that shit out. You gotta stop being mad. <laughs> Amy Schumer's gang, gang, gang. Yeah, we love, we love Amy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Amy. Yeah, guess gang. Um, and I'll be happy to help anybody with their podcast for a small fee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should give the small fee to Amy. I was more she, so she thinking. Get a big fee. I was thinking of uh, Rory and Nori and Maul and Nori. Like, <laughs> oh, y'all thought y'all was gonna start a new show I wasn't gonna produce? <laughs> 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 I got Nori's number. <laughs> I know I know you do. Um, what else is important to talk about? You know what's not really so important to talk about, but I'll talk about it. You look for something important to talk about, Rory. And while you're doing that, I'll talk to the people about something that's probably not really so important. So a million little things came back on the air. And this is not a TV uh TV show analysis. But boy, some of the differences between white people and black people, you know, as someone who doesn't see color. I never really paid attention to <laughs> until a million little things. The TV show comes back from winter break. One of my favorite shows. So I tune in. And when I tune in, I notice that the son, the little like 11 year old uh, white son, I don't know his name, but clearly in the news story, they're showing us that he has a boyfriend. They're showing us that he has a boyfriend right before they, he has actually told his family in the story of a million little things. So the little boy, the little boy is sneaking out the house to meet up with his little 12 year old boyfriend. The boyfriend's giving him like snacks and candy, like allowance, lunch money and shit. Sin's tapping me. Hey, what's going on? Like, get the fuck off of me, man. (laughs) I'm watching the show. The kid is gay. So 10 minutes later, uh, at some big family function. I, and, and I'm off on. This is not the exact way this went down. But 10 <laughs> minutes later in the show, the little white boy says, God damn, it's eating me up inside. I have to tell my family. The family comes over. He introduces his boyfriend to the family. The family welcomes him with open arms, hugs him, says, look forward to seeing you. Heard a lot about you. And then that was the end of that storyline. That fucked me up in the bed for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of it? That was the end. And then the little boy went and held his boyfriend's hand. Little, they, they 12, 13, they kids, is what I'm saying. Holding hands, they ran off in the night, and the parents just went to finish doing some parent shit. <laughs> they ran off into And the I night. said, <laughs> wait a minute, goddammit, enough. I've, I've already accepted white privilege for what it is. But now you're telling me that white kids who are in the closet come out like this. <laughs> that was a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, do you know what black kids have to go through to come out the closet to their parents? <laughs> their well, parents are shooting them in the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Some kids, listen, I'm exaggerating, of course, yeah. but some kids have a really hard time coming oh, no, out of no, the no. closet to their But come on, I don't, we don't have to have the conversation Absolutely. here, right? Absolutely. So for them to portray this like this on Channel 7, I was blown away. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's a deeper deeper uh, thing I think the time that we're in they're trying to make it to where white kids have to white 12 year old kids have to have a harder time coming out the closet to their parents that's crazy <laughs> I'm, and I'm Joe, pretty sure some yeah. some white kids do though no it just may be easier for everyone else besides white kids to come out to their parents <laughs> maybe that's a, that's they, a better they, solution they, they shouldn't make that such a smooth thing on TV <laughs> no but this is they're doing that so that it can help yeah, make, oh, it, that's a, a, make it a smooth thing. Well, in, it should be yeah, a smooth in homes. Thing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, it should be. But it's not. We know that it's not. Well, they, all right. Well, well first I want to see them. I do don't it. want do it with a black kid. I don't want gay, <laughs> straight, or any of my twelve year old kid to run off in the night with another person at twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here because it's progressive. Yeah. That's why I never really <laughs> understood. Get your ass in the house. That's why I never yeah. understood strange, strange little things like there's a whole group of twelve year olds just running around causing mayhem. Y'all done snuck this little alien chicken out attic. Like where are the parents? <laughs> That's a good question. That was the Goonies. Stranger Things was the Goonies yeah, all over again. Yeah, it, it really was. It was the Goonies. You guys yeah. watch uh, 
Killer Mike show? No, I watched I, the first I watch episode. It. I just watched three of them, I think. So on my list, I saw the clips that everyone he's, else saw. Uh, he's, he's trying some leftist, left field shit. I want to give props to Netflix for, for putting that type of show out. Yeah. I want to give props to them for being forward thinking. I don't, I don't feel like when they put the black show out that it's just because black shit is selling. Like, that's a black ass show that they put out with a black ass man. About black ass shit. Actually, that's the first thing I said when I saw the first episode. Wow, Killer Mike is much better than me. I would have been took some white people weed. <laughs> some white, <laughs> some white, what he was. <laughs> it was a few things. What he didn't take an egg one time. It was like, God damn, Killer Mike. Hey, Except man. the white farmer, man. Nah, not Killer yeah, he Mike. Wasn't with it. Nah, he ain't conforming. The shit that he did about the gangs, though, like he was. Realizing I didn't see it yet. Well, I haven't seen it, and I only saw yeah. it. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, right. I have to. I'm, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Need to watch. It's only watch like half hour episodes, so you can. Kind of you know, I'm watching tonight for sure. And it's only what six? I think something like that, six, seven. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I'm watching. That's a one time sit. Easy. 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 One time sit. Watch that whole thing. Oh, yeah. You know, speaking of farming, and you know, well, farming is what led me to to this. And this is a random question: How much of you guys' family backgrounds do you know? Uh. I, I I couldn't know more. I know a little, but I do. I should know more. Same. So how how, how far do you go back? I, I'd like to know. Uh, to my my great yeah, grandmother, great grandmother, great grandfather. That's not bad. Yeah. But how much of their story do you know? Not much. That's what I'm saying. And parts of you. Uh, most of my family, like great grandparents. And how much of their story do you know? Not a ton. So really, y'all go back to like your grandparents. You're aware of your grandparents' stories, um, yeah, or not yeah. so much there either. Well, my grandmother died when I was only, I think, two, one or two. Yeah, my grandmother. Yeah, she she. Granddad. My grandfather. My grandfather passed away when I was maybe twelve. So I have a memory of him. Yeah, I knew my dad's parents. My mom's parents both passed before I was born. So, Rory, what about you? Uh, my father's side, great grandfather, because he was here, like in New Jersey, and that's why I know. And then my mother, not much at all. Her parents both died when she was really, really young. Um, but y'all want to know more? Yeah, yeah. It's funny you bring that up because that's actually something I thought about uh, going into this year. I wanted to learn more about my family tree and my my roots. I asked because I forgot what I was going through a few weeks ago, or maybe it was that whole. Sin, sin thing that she was going I don't remember but a few weeks ago led me to asking myself how much of my family background do I know mm-hmm. right uh, my grandfather on my dad's side recently passed um, was always tight with my grandparents but that was about it so I picked up the phone mm-hmm. I picked up the phone I did and I called my dad and I said pop it's gonna sound like a random weird question but how much of our family background do you know like i'm calling to find out information about great granddad and he said it's funny that you said that because (laughs) there's some questions that i would like to know that uh no oh he said why do you ask that's what he said he said why do you ask and i said because i'd like to know our history and he said okay well my granddad my granddad owned a whole lot of land in South Carolina, and he did a deal where he sold that land to the state or whatever for some marginalized land. And then what they did was they built Sumter High School on that land, and then they gave him a whole bunch of other shit. So in, South, in Sumter, South Carolina, by that school, there's Budden Street mm-hmm. by that school to speak oh, to that. Dope. That's cool. Because uh, he was a farmer and he had a whole bunch of land. And that's where I was confused. And I said, Pomp, that don't sound strange. Do you still have family on Button Street? I'm not being funny. No, really. no, 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 okay. no. No, what happened was when they when he sold the land for marginalized land, you know, they built mm-hmm. the high school over there. And then we got a whole compound, basically, where all the Buttons and Ramseys and all of those people mm-hmm. were. So where my whole family was basically raised. Gotcha. But... The fact that my great grandfather was a farmer who owned a lot of land sounded spooky to me. <laughs> yeah, your great grandfather. So I said, "That don't sound weird, Dad. That he had a whole bunch of land back then as a black man, and he sold it to somebody." Like, well, 
He said, yeah, I wanted to do some research on that myself. And then I was blown away because I never thought that I could get to a place in my thought that would spark something in my dad about our family as well. And then I was like, damn, let me ask my my, my co-hosts and shit. How much of their family shit do they know? Because I was blown away by it. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, is that information people even seek? Yeah, my mom got really into that for a while. She was, like, really digging back through fucking... Yeah, I'm a dick. Yeah. Talking to her I, I want to know. And all types of shit to find. No, nah, we found some cool... Because my dad and my grandfather did a lot. Uh, the coolest thing we I learned about my great-great-grandfather, he helped put in the first streetlights in Newark, New Jersey. Thought that was kind of cool. That's, That's cool. dope. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so he was a goon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I want to do a quick anti ad because my mother did that ancestry.com shit because she doesn't know much about her family. Right. They just told her she's from planet Earth. <laughs> they circled the whole globe and said, yo, you from here. <laughs> Wait, huh? She did the, the saliva <laughs> joint, sent the shit in, came back, they circled the globe. You're from <laughs> Earth. You are a human being. That's <laughs> nice. We get into the wrong bag. <laughs> Why are we not get into the saliva bag? The <laughs> saliva <laughs> bag. Niggas can send me saliva, uh, and I'll be like, yeah, I know where you from. We just talked about how you won't get into the saliva no, bag. No, no, not that way. No. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't nobody spitting in my mouth, but exactly. you can take this cotton swab and send it in, and I'll tell you where you from. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I know where you from. Uh, where's the yeah. little thing? And, and you, know what was, you know what's even more sick and why we are in the wrong bag? My mom was kind of excited to show me. Yeah, see? I was like, Mom, they, they circled the globe. <laughs> yeah, my sister got me one of those. I still never, I never did it. I was a little spooked out by the. Nah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it for you next month. I'm gonna start my yeah. my company. Parks, you just got it. They have everything about us. Just give in. I gotta nah, do. Some they, they, they own everything. Yeah, I'm gonna do some digging and find out. All, all, all Pop said is all everybody said is he was a shrewd businessman. <laughs> shrewd, shrewd. Man, what black man, man was a shrewd true. businessman in fucking I was gonna say, usually that's <laughs> described as a white guy that fucked over a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> shrewd businessman. Yeah, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some digging. I'm, I'm going to do some digging and find out. Y'all, you, you and Parks can't make jokes. No, I'm definitely going to dig, though. Fair. <laughs> fair. You got totally it. fair. You got me. <laughs> yeah, Maul, no, you should. I am. All right, come sure. on. Let's get out of that and get into something lighter. Nadeska from Everyday Struggle has replied to me. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> on a good note, we shook hands. There was no bad blood. Right. But this one clip where you hear me saying, why do you have so many businesses went super viral. So the point I was trying to make to Soldier Boy, which I stand by, is that if you're a great entrepreneur, you focus on developing a couple of really great businesses, those flourish, and then you keep building, right? Nadeska is Alexis is telling Soldier Boy how to be a great entrepreneur. Looking like it ended on a good note. We shook hands. There was no bad blood. Right. But this no one clip blood. where you hear me saying, "Why do you have so many businesses?" went super viral. So the point I was trying to make to Soldier Boy, which I stand by, is that if you're a great entrepreneur, you focus on developing a couple of really great businesses, those flourish, and then you keep building. Right? I've been on this show talking about building wealth in our communities, investing. Ask Wayno how many conversations we have about investing apps yes, and all I'm this not shit. Sorry, Wayno. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm no. right. I'm the girl Wayno. who doesn't support no. entrepreneurship and black businesses. Like you guys really took that shit out of context and ran with it like shout out to Joe Budden and Charlemagne I see this is a real big problem with the kids today it's not taking something out of context when you don't say what you mean that's number one I, I, I there, there is no out of context with you saying why do you own so many businesses and laughing and if I'm listening to what you said just now how is that any different <laughs> How is you saying a great entrepreneur takes a few businesses, focuses on those before he starts anymore? No, they don't. A good entrepreneur just tries a bunch of shit to see what sticks. <laughs> and why are we taking entrepreneurial lessons from the desk of Alexis? Am I off in this? All right, fine, I'll leave it. Anytime y'all make these faces, I'll get out of here. No, no, I'm, I'm, listening, I'm listening to what you were saying. I mean, I, I, I just think- want the people to stop saying something is taken out of context when they didn't say what they meant. If that's, that's what you that's meant, great. Yeah. But I, I that's think, not what happened. I, I, I argue that. Yeah, I, I understand what you're saying. But I, like I said, even when you said that about Nadeska, I didn't think that she was, what she said, she wasn't trying to be malicious in what she was saying. Or she wasn't trying to <laughs> knock Soldier Boy and him being an entrepreneur. I just think that it came out that way, that that's what she was trying to say. But I, did, I really didn't feel like that's what she was trying to say. Like I don't think she felt like, why are you asking me to business? Like, that, that was a bad thing. But even in that, it's kind of like, that. just that question is like, how do you? What do you mean? Why do you have so many businesses? It's and a, I don't even understand. I and her, even her. Which she doubled down on. You yeah, shouldn't double down when you're wrong. <clears throat> yeah. Like you're wrong. You shouldn't ask. She you, just said it the wrong. Ask, she worded. She worded it what, wrong. But that's I, what you should have said. Yeah, Y'all worded, worded that wrong, and that's not what I meant. I can understand how it came yeah, off the it, wrong right, way. Let me right. tell you guys what I meant. Right. Right. Absolutely. Oh, great. 
Right. Absolutely. Wonderful. But I but I knew that she didn't wasn't trying to be mm. malicious when she said it. Uh, Rihanna and LVMH may be making history with a fashion deal. Rihanna is Rihanna Coco Chanel, 21st Century LVMH, Moet Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, the parent company of Dior, uh, Givenchy, and Fendi apparently think so. Uh, it is in the midst of a deal to back her in a fashion brand, making her the first female designer of color at the world's largest luxury conglomerate. Rihanna's going to be a billionaire very soon. Rihanna is a product of our culture and this is proven once and once well once again that you have to come through this culture to get the cool shit man you gotta come through this culture to get the things that the world love you know what I mean and that's just the bottom line you know what I mean like congrats to her but we know what Rihanna doing we, we talk about it she's a she's an icon she's she's in a whole different atmosphere right now like this is this is her this is I'm not even now I'm not even looking for the album at this point like when you start reading shit like that, I'm like, oh, she ain't. Music is I, down the line. I've said now. this on this podcast before, but every time Rihanna does something really big, I ask myself why we cherished Madonna all those years. <laughs> well, you she had to. Is, is, that's, that's fucked up. Yeah, Madonna, but I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> no, but Madonna did some. She did. Isn't some, Rihanna doing Madonna the right way? Yeah, but no, I think Madonna Rihanna, had to do some things that Rihanna could watch. And if to, it wasn't to it, see what works and what doesn't. Oh, I know, I know. If it wasn't for X, we wouldn't get X. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I was going to say. Cross, so yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, 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 she no, paved the not, way for. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, you still got to give that to people that paved the way. Oh, please, the bitch just got a butt job. I'm cool. <laughs> did y'all see Madonna's butt job? I did. I did. Is disgusting. that not the worst butt job ever? Where was, was Bernice? Is she like sixty? <laughs> I don't understand how you have money. I feel, like, I feel like that's a troll. I, I understand like why troll. she has money. No, I don't understand why you would choose to use it. I do. I don't think that's real. I think I think Madonna is trolling us. Yeah, I think she's troll. trolling us. See, I can definitely see Madonna I don't trolling like us. That word. No, but I can see Madonna troll. Madonna is like the one person you would see. Like she's been doing wild, off, over the top shit for years, and it's like I don't think she really has a, a butt. Madonna job. has enough money to get her butt done properly. <laughs> I don't think that's she got anything done. I think she just put some shit in her pants and went on stage. I'm just acting like that. <laughs> I don't think she really has put an some ass job. In the green yeah, room. I don't really think she really got her ass done. I don't believe that. Right off the couch. Yeah. Until I see Madonna on vacation with her family in the on the beach and we could actually see like out? Yeah, then I, I, don't that thing out. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. She's the lady had cones on her breast, like on stage for fucking twenty years. Like I don't believe it. I know you don't think that's the lady that'll go get some caulk in her ass real quick? No. <laughs> I don't. Do you guys care about uh, Cardi B, the hero we need, versus uh, Homegirl? I, I love even, political Cardi. Let's not even say Homegirl's name, but yeah, just we don't girl. need to say her name. I like political Cardi. I love. I, I do love too. It. It's great. And I thought she handled that exchange extremely well. Absolutely. I kind of wish people would just stop replying to that girl, but you yeah. know, no people, more people gonna reply yeah. now. Word. Yeah, that, that, that's what I do say. Like Lowen Cass throwing it. That's true. <laughs> Yo, if it was, I knew Joe was going to take that bar and milk that shit. Like, he's going to run with that shit. You're going to hear that bar a lot from Joe. Trust me. Trust and believe. That bar right there, Joe, how how hard did you laugh when you heard that bar? Be honest with me. I know. I died laughing when Rory <laughs> told me that nigga said that shit. Uh, yeah, no, I played it for you a while ago. <laughs> I laughed. Well, I can't laugh at that line, no, but I laugh no, at all. Uh, but wait, but wait, no, he, no, no. He no. shouted out when it was Henny Palooza. He put it in the uh, summer on sunset. Uh, but don't, mistake. but don't do that. Forget time. about Wale. For I laugh at fans do say line all the time. Don't do that. No, you do. And if I do say it's a couple of breaths, yeah, all you right, do. you do. All yeah, right, that's fam, your record. Though. That's your record. No, I knew Joe would laugh at that. I know Joe. That line is funny. And if I do say, <laughs> I thought it was great. It's a couple brown, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you, me. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's a couple it's a brown. Couple brown. <laughs> no. <laughs> Only if you forget say it, though. Just forget it, Maul. Right. Because I see what's going on for 2019 with and, this podcast. And I see and the and powers I'm up against. So, I'm cool. Like the I'm dynamics are changing. I'm Things laughing. are different here. No, uh, I'm just laughing right. because it if is, it is say, brown, right? Yes. <laughs> just, so we can't. That's it. Leave it there. But who questioned? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but who questioned but who whether me? Fab says? <laughs> If he do, he say does say it, though. But yeah. who he said, said it? He but said it. Who said? <laughs> he's saying. Yo, Fab be saying he's saying. Yeah, but, <laughs> but he don't say. Yeah. He who said, said? Come on, Fab. He said if he do say. He not saying he always say. That's yeah. true. But he's like, if I do say, if he happens true. to say something. Yeah, if, if it so if happens. If I do that, say, I didn't even say nothing. Yeah, it's the brown exactly. talking. Exactly. Ah. Now you see him do a lot of talking. Yeah. Now 
you see what, what, where Los was going. I, now you see where Los was going. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I didn't see. I know. I didn't see before. Or say. <laughs> All right, give me my phone. All right, give me my phone. Let me find something else to talk about. <laughs> Real quick, what's going on? Let's see. Family Batman, Spotify. Chris I told Brown case was on. Hey. Charges were dropped. Chris yeah. Brown charges were dropped. They're, yeah. they're dropped. Yeah, for those that, that don't know, but probably should, Chris Brown was in Paris and was allegedly accused of rape. He was brought into the police station where he was questioned and then left with no charges. Ariana Grande dropped her album... Uh, track list I know you're excited about that Joe wait hold up tell the story again Rory what happened with Chris Brown Chris Brown went to Paris got accused of rape went right to the police station for questioning left without any charges and went back to America well tell the Paris part slower <laughs> <laughs> so Chris Brown got himself jammed up in Paris but then he was just fine Hey, uh. <laughs> this is sick. <laughs> hey, Chris is out. Chris is out. <laughs> free, free Chris till you say it till it's spelled backwards. <laughs> That's what y'all think I'm championing. <laughs> uh, Maul was outside. I was outside. He was outside. <laughs> I was outside. Rory was outside. Everybody should have been outside. Everyone was outside. outside when this came out. Rory just ago. was outside looking nasty, though. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but you was out. Yeah. Parks was out and some Levi's. For sure. I mean, you look nasty when you first go outside. Yeah. The Don was out looking for some gray sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Savon was looking for some gray sweats. Oh, man. Chris Brown. Chris Brown is safe. Chris Brown, they said Chris Brown allegedly raped somebody. They arrested him, the bodyguard, one other person as well. Uh, everybody was concerned. We were afraid. And then they let him out. He's suing. He should. I'm telling you, there should be some type of something for false allegations. Absolutely. I know that it's not the time to it say is, that. It is, though, right? I feel like we've seen some cases where they... Uh, maybe they, a civil suit. Yeah, yeah. civil suits, yeah. No, I'm, I mean a criminal. A criminal suit. Yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Not a, not a civil anything. I'll vote, I'll vote for that. I'll vote yes for that. I mean, granted, it would have to be proven, of course, but mm -hmm. I feel like this wouldn't be very hard to prove. A, a fake rape? <laughs> mm. And I'm not sure how the Paris justice system works, but had it gone a different way, Chris Brown would have had to stay in Paris till his trial mm -hmm. in prison. <laughs> No, it wouldn't have been fun like this. Oh. Yeah, no, it wouldn't have been that type of bounce. Oh, he wouldn't have been. <laughs> nah, fam. None of that. Damn. But I am happy that, you know, the charges were dropped and he's all right, man. But that's, but see, even in that, man, I feel like when you're accused of rape, even if you're found, like, it was, it was still, lies. Still it still sticks. Yeah, it's like people still look at you like, this nigga be running around raping bitches. You know what I'm saying? Mean, it's like, I, shit, the better part of my timeline Got him the fuck out of here. That's what I'm first saying. That's, it's, that's that's crazy, man. You that's gotta crazy. be really you gotta be really careful about inviting strangers places. I'm I'm telling that to the entertainment industry because it's a very common practice in our field that maybe just shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It's one of those. Right. Um, now more than ever, too. Yeah, With social media, now yeah. more than ever. Because it's so easy to access different people and yeah, come through. Pull we don't up. need to look back 20, 20 years from now saying, Oh, that was the times back then. Like, yeah. That it's weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But but you know, going back to the nineties, that's the same thing Pac said happened to him in that case. He said yeah. it was just people around. He didn't even know. Like he mm -hmm. was just like, I don't know them. Like they was in uh, we was all in a room partying and I left. Some shit happened after I left. Like that's on me, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, that, that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's but yeah, right. that's how it goes. This is Tupac's room. Yeah, You're the you. celebrity here, this is all your and, fault. And not only that, the crazy boy was he got tried by himself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're gonna single you out. Oh, yeah. When like, you're a celebrity, for sure. Yeah. Had some actual shit went down, hypothetically, in that, say, security or someone did it. They'd try Chris Brown by himself, mm -hmm. whether he was there or not. Well, I'm glad that they released him. I'm glad this appears to be false Appears to be false allegations. Mm -hmm. um, he came up and spoke to his defense immediately, said that bitch is lying. His words exactly, not mine. Mm -hmm. um, if she's indeed lying, I have no issue with him saying, yo, that bitch is lying. Oh yeah, no. That word is warranted. If Absolutely. you're accusing me of rape and I did not rape you. That that is the epitome of what. <laughs> well, that's what the word that, is for. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I always get confused when the women complain about men talking to bitches. 
Like, no, there are bitches. Yeah, they are. exist. That's a bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you For gonna sure. fake ra- fake rape on somebody? Yeah, yeah. no, that's crazy. That's come, on. come on. Yeah, that's a little nuts. Let's stay here for a minute. There's another. There was a really disturbing story going around. I'm not sure if everybody had a chance to see it, but it's making it's, it's making the rounds. Jasmine Eland, a young lady who was at Club Opera in Atlanta on Facebook Live. She was on Facebook Live for a long time. All this footage is available or was available as of yesterday. Uh, and there there appears to be an alleged sexual assault. Uh, an alleged molestation, an alleged rape. You know, I, I watched the video. It took me a little while to find it, and I watched all of them. So I got to the part in the video I watched. The end was blurred, uh, but there was enough to see that there was some type of sexual something happening with this young lady in a crowded club, and people were watching and filming as she cried for help and screamed no. It was extremely disturbing to witness. It was like, it was really bad. Like, I wouldn't have watched it if, if Sin wasn't hell-bent on seeing it because just when I said the story, she couldn't believe it. But my prayers go out to this young lady. Uh, the internet got on their internet justice shit and found the identity of the alleged young man who was behind uh, Jasmine all night long. They're doing what they got to do. You know what, what the internet does when these types of stories come about. We don't like it. Yeah. We don't like it. It doesn't sit right in our spirit. Um. And again, the young lady came forward and said she's she is doing okay now. But man, if that story just did, doesn't make you just feel and be afraid for our women out there, you know, because as niggas, and you know, this is a podcast of niggas, so on here a lot, you know, we it's hard for us to really get into some of the fears associated with the actual victims of this stuff because it's a common thing now. But when you see it. When you see it, and it's 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 when it's when it's common enough to be that in your face from a fucking app from a young lady just trying to go to the club and have a good time and turn up and drink, like this guy put the pill in her drink from the from the pics that I saw, the pill was visibly in her drink, huge pill. You could see it, ladies. Be careful. Word. Be careful. Cause that was a big pill. You could hear her say, "Hey, this drink tastes nasty. This is what the fuck is this." Wow. You can hear her say thanks for buying me the drink. Like, talk about predatory behavior. Like, this is what you niggas is doing in clubs? <laughs> yeah, yuck. That's nasty. It's nasty. It's nasty. It's disgusting. My heart goes out to that young lady. My heart goes out to her friends, her family. I hope they put that nigga under the jail. Under the jail. And you know, we keep saying every week that we want to come in here and, and make jokes and, and, and have a fun podcast. And we keep thinking that all the nasty type stories are behind us. And every fucking week we find out there's so much more to come. Like, God damn it. Can some, can we have a light week for once? <laughs> That's all I had there. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have, I don't have anything more. Hopefully justice is served. Ho- hopefully they find this young man. Uh, and again, I, I hope that the psychology, the, the, the psychology of this young lady mo- moving forward is just not damaged beyond repair. I mean, that that's all, that's all I could say as a man. Like as a man, I, I wanted to do something to homeboy through the phone. Like that's how a man feels looking at something like that. Yeah, I feel like that's a crime that you should absolutely be uh, sentenced sentenced to death for. Right. Honestly. I won't go that far, but I understand what you're saying. No, I, I do, I do, because that raping somebody is 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 so crazy. Just the thought of that to me is so crazy because it's like you just. You're taking something from somebody that's like you can't give them that back. Or you know what I mean? Like and then the the damage is so severe and so that's a lifelong thing. That sticks to that person forever. Yeah. Out outside of everything you're saying, Maul, because you're one hundred percent correct. I guess the part that really hit me hard watching uh watching everything in its in its entirety was that young lady Jasmine was so relatable. Like mm. if you watch the whole thing she love all the songs we love. Mm. Like the songs that make you turn up and make you say, hey, I think what you're saying shit. is it felt like a club you would have been in. Mm. Like a and, party that and, you and your friends And would that's go like to. a girl that we would know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. we would, My friend, I meant both We genders. would call her to hang out here <laughs> yeah. right. and just come have a good time. That looked like the good time that any of us are susceptible to. Boy, did that piss me off. Mm. 
just in a crowded club, man, what the fuck is America coming to? It's nasty. It's nasty. It's disgusting. And my heart goes out to that young lady. Uh, and anybody that had to read that story. <laughs> yeah. It's tough to read. Yeah. Mm. Um, what else? Might need some, some Gap Band or some Frankie. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, man. Can we, we might need some of that. Yeah, 1,000%. But it's just crazy, man. Yeah, they got a. You said there was people filled with it too, like. She was on live. That's crazy. Yeah. For a long time. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Let me come bring this back. Congo nigga is getting getting off. <laughs> Congo nigga. You can see his face too. too. <laughs> You know the face he was making too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the single. <laughs> He's going crazy. <laughs> Yo, man, that's great. Shout out to Congo, nigga. <laughs> you are appreciated. One hundred percent. I need yeah. I need your beat pack. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? I need the beat pack for the Congo. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ill mind and them ain't got that. <laughs> the Congo beat pack. Oh. Uh... No, you know what? No idea is the Congo uh, beat pack. No idea made this beat. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't even know. He was there. Um, no idea in Charlie. Uh, what was happening? What was happening? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I feel like something's happening that I'm missing. Let me see. You, hey! Hold up now! This is me. I love when the DJ getting in a two-step set at the club. Hey! That's, what? A, that's where you flourish? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All the Millie Rockers sit down. It's Joe's time. Yo, it's crazy how how long this song has been amazing. This song is still the song. That's crazy. Doesn't, it's still the song. I remember this. I'm talking about my mom. You was outside? Kid. No, no. I wasn't outside. When this came out. No. <laughs> what your mom was doing when this song came out? out. Probably cooking, cleaning. Probably cooking. Niggas always swear their moms just cooked and cleaned. Oh, no. I'm talking about when I was introduced to the record. I don't know what she was doing outside of the <laughs> house, no. As you, you think your mom ever went to the afters? Oh, for sure. My mom's too. For sure. What the fuck is wrong, mom? Of course. I, I, remember, <laughs> I remember the babysitter being there until about 6 Yeah, right? Like, Talk about just give them cereal. Yeah, the sun is up. Like, nigga, where my mom's at? Why are you still here? No. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck is the steak mom's yeah. promised at 11? <laughs> like, why are you still here? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's stay on music for two seconds as soon as I... Let's see. Okay. Let's see what's going on. See what the fuck Payne talking about. I like this record. Okay. Hold up. Let's pause. <laughs> That's the record he sent you? Uh, normally niggas already know this podcast is is for Joe Budden, Rory Parks, Maul, Erickson, and Savon's thoughts. Sometimes it certainly is not to premiere new music from you fucks out there. <laughs> Pain's the exception there. Yeah, this uh, this song ended up in my inbox this morning, and I continued to play it yeah. for five hours afterwards. <laughs> I tried to hate on it midway through, but then talk, Tory smoked it. <laughs> oh, this is a Tory record. This is a T Pain I, record. I almost, I almost this hated is a on T Pain. Teddy Grizzle. It's a single. I almost wanted to hate on the hook, and then I started singing the hook, and I said, "This is a good hook." I take everything I said back. This is not my sleeper. Let's go. Brand new music, T-Pain featuring Tory Lanez. Let's see what's going on. Niggas gearing up for that springtime. It's going to be a lot more niggas dropping music, getting ready for spring. Let's go, Pain.
Oh, oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. This, if I had a ghost, if I had like a big boy phantom or something, if I had an exotic. <laughs> big boy. Yeah. I hate that that's a term. It, it, meek make me say it. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? It's a big boy ghost. It's not a phantom. It's not a wraith. <laughs> Niggas put their wraiths up. Yo, know, it only take one nigga to say a line and the whole rap community put their wraiths away. Word. I don't no. even see. Envy don't even drive his wraith no more. <laughs> Expensive ass cars. Now it's the baby mother car. <laughs> No, it ain't. <laughs> Let me know it ain't. And Sin ain't getting a wraith. <laughs> Who tried? Jay tried to do that to a BMW. Yeah, no, Jay did it to a BMW. <laughs> Jay and Maul. We're going to talk about this 1942 craze going on. Enough. <laughs> they got a good little team over there. They do. Because I don't even drink tequila. I've been drinking that shit crazy lately. <laughs> Now I'm happy it's getting better, Sean, for the second. Yeah, this was my sleep. about to end anyway. That's T-Pain and Tory Lane's Get Your Roll On. I like that record. I, I like it too. I like it too. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that James uh, Gandolfini's son, Michael Gandolfini, was cast as Tony Soprano in the Sopranos movie. Oh yeah? Does he look which, like him? Uh, not really. <laughs> but... Uh, it's going to be called Many Saints of Newark. I know they've been talking about this for like eight years. The so Sopranos movie. Glad to see that it's... It's a prequel. Oh, yeah, it's about Tony Soprano's father. I'm still waiting on Sex and the City's return. Didn't they put out two Sex and the City movies? Yeah, but then Samantha, Samantha and Carrie started fighting. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the halt. That's why we can't get So it. we can't get a Soprano movie till they make How it. did the show <laughs> end? Uh, <laughs> he got murked. No, nah, he paid his check. They, well. See? <laughs> see? See? See what I mean? This is why I don't know. I think but door, I mean, good the for them. Or something. Well, I mean, David Chase is great, so I'll watch anything that he does. If y'all were with an adult, an, an adult chick who had cartoon underwear, what would y'all <laughs> would y'all tell her to stay? <laughs> what, what, what's the cartoon? Well, I don't know. Some chicks is into like like the Hulk or something. <laughs> like Hulk? why? Why is a girl like why the Hulk? Is she wearing a Hulk? That's what Hulk. I'm saying. What would you do? That's kind of lit. Hulk Hogan, like wrestling? She got WWF underwear? I was going to say, yeah, some girls are like into weird cartoon shit. That's fine by me. Um, I think we've covered everything for the week. Uh, we didn't get into the fucking two degree weather that New York had, but that's fine. I enjoyed it. it well, you had, a, you had a warm you coat on. It? You had a warm so. coat. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Props. Do you really need like a warm coat if you have a car? Not really. Yeah, you do. Think so? Mm -hmm. Like how warm? Do you have the uh, automatic car starter upper? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Even that's you, important. Even if you don't. Because if you have to go sit in the cold car for a while, then you need a warm jacket. Yeah, but then once the car gets warm, now you have a big ass jacket on, not a practical one. I just wake up and go start the car and leave it running for the five hours. <laughs> well, <laughs> Just leave it running all day. Good, good to know. Yeah, for, I, mean, that is I was going to say, now everyone yeah. knows. <laughs> I ain't get my car back yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't get my kicks back yet either. You get your, you, your car gets stolen. Yo, insurance really is only to make sure you're not insured at things. No, insurance <laughs> is to make sure insurance is to make sure you're not lying. No, insurance, no, no. <laughs> they got to investigate. Like, oh, where is my story? Insurance don't insure anyone. Yeah, not really. 
They only look for the loophole to find out if they don't have to insure you. Correct. Which they will find. Yeah, AKA if you're lying or not. <laughs> Even if you're not lying. I think that's everything, guys. Oh, now a round of applause for Mariano Rivera. First, first ever unanimous, first ballot Hall of Famer unanimous decision. Couldn't think of a, couldn't think of a, a classier act, someone more deserving of such an honor. Uh, glad to see that you graced the mound in New York, man. Awesome, 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 awesome. Shout deserving. out to Mo. Shout very, out to Mo. Very, very deserving. Def- definitely deserving. Gave away a few big games, but still. <laughs> he definitely he, saved he definitely won us yeah, way more. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Shout out to Mo, man. Uh, and that's all we got. That's all we got for the week, man. Shout out to everybody out there, for just for no reason. I'm just out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for no reason. Shout out to everybody. Yeah, shout out to everybody, man. Just everybody out there grinding, grinding Getting to it. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Uh, we'll talk to y'all on Saturday. Until next time, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Till then, bid you adieu. Peace, sayonara, adios, farewell, and all the rest of the goodbyes, goddammit. One.